Hi, everyone, and welcome to Lawful Stupid RPG, home of the severed pinkies. You don't need them. You have eight other fingers. It's Thursday, which means it's time for some advanced Dungeons and Dragons, courtesy of the Aeroth campaign and episode six of the Sundered Crown. But if you've been following us for at least a week, you'll know that last Friday saw the launch of Pantheon, our ancient Greek campaign. It had zombie catapults. Awesome. Episode two goes live tomorrow at 6.30 Eastern or 11.30 UK time. Saturday, we return to Hemlora, streaming at 7 p.m. Eastern or midnight UK time. I don't know if it has zombie catapults. It should, though. And make sure to join us on Discord, where we are Legion, and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Reddit. Um, if you don't know that already, what the hell is wrong with you? Our Patreon is now in its third week. For tonight's game, our wonderful patrons have voted on ways to ruin our party's lives a little bit. Uh, good job, and thank you. Okay, uh, I am Mark, your kind and generous dungeon master, and if you're sitting comfortably, uh, let's see what happened last session. Previously on Eroth, the Sundered Crown. With Jadarian revivified by elven sorcery, the party enters the Worm's Grave dungeon in search of aid from the dragon Vorum Cathriax. But this ancient beast has its own desires, and our heroes are forced to find a way to meet its demands or risk losing all they have fought for. And the dragon is not their only problem. House Mordath has sent a team of assassins after them. Just when matters with the dragon seem resolved, these assassins strike and capture Hagen Quell, taking him back to a Mordath outpost for questioning. Determined to free their companion, our heroes plan a desperate rescue attempt in the heart of enemy territory. The waters of the lake are dark, choppy. The boat moves at a careful pace along the base of the cliffs. Up ahead, a Halgar spire looms, a silhouette against the dark night sky. Barely any moonlight shines through the clouds. Faint stars dapple the water. You're huddled in the boat sculling along the base of the granite outcrop and a darker shape at the base of the cliffs signals the entrance to the dungeon level. Two days you have traveled north from the dead forest to reach Halgarth Spire. Polgor, the charmed House Mordath assassin, has filled your minds with all manner of information about the Spire. He even took the time to draw you a very nice map and give you a rough understanding of what is held in its various chambers. Mordath's southernmost outpost, Halgar's Spire, is, he says, where Hagen will have been taken for questioning. Hot on the half-elf's tail, you now drift your boat carefully up to the jetty and moor it where the steps come down from the base of the spire to be lapped by the water in the darkness. Polgor, a uh, young man with a soft downy beard and a buzz cut blonde hair, looks around in the boat. Okay, so this is the place I told you about. At the top of the stairs, there's a guard chamber, but um, well, Shanta can probably get us past there with her magic. Can't you, Shanta? Uh, um, uh, yeah? He looks around with the rest of you. I'm going to look at Shanta can do anything. She's great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's really kind. I think Bella, this is more Bellis' specialty, though. W which one's Bellis again? Um, yeah. Oh, yes, the pixie. You can get us in, can you? Well, I can't hear a word she's saying. She must be muted. Oh, well. <laughs> 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 mm. 
Okay, so you uh, tied the rope off at one of the slime greened poles on the jetty. At the top of the steps, you can just make out the lights of, uh, of the guard chamber. So? Ellis, do you have a plan? I uh, I get I get out of the boat and I help the others out. Okay. okay. Well, within moments you're on the jetty. Halgar's spire looms above you. The steps, about thirty foot up, into the base of the uh, of the outcrop upon which the keep sits. Um, I suppose Jadarian should scout ahead. I can have a look. Well, I, 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 I thought, Polgor says, that you were, you were going to use me to, to put the um, put the guards at rest before you uh, yes. humanely, humanely captured yeah. them without without dealing them any any serious injuries. Yes. That's not a bad idea. Mm. Yes. Do we uh-huh. um, need to act as your prisoners? Would it be more believable to go in that way? That's a great idea. She's got great ideas, hasn't she? Fantastic. Mm, that she does, most of the time. <laughs> and let's you. stay cowled until the last second. All right, well, pull, pull, pull those, those cows over your heads, and, um, well, I suppose... Uh, we should um, pretend to be bound. Yes, yes, to, to tie your wrists, but not too tightly. Okay, I'll just quickly tie All them right. very loosely so that everybody can just l- slip their hands free. I will uh, right. cast that phantom armor spell, though. Okay. It's obscured under your cloak, but there is a faint shimmering of pale blue energy as the phantom armor settles itself about your body. I try to now, hide now the rancor as much as I can. It's not too tight around your wrist, is it, Shanta? Oh, the rope. no, it, it, it's fine. Okay, Aldrich good. Aldrich is really good. careful. It's okay. Uh, which fine. one's Aldrich? Uh, the, uh, uh, the, 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 and she'll like lean in, the, the, the handsome one. Oh. Oh, I see. Right. No, okay. <laughs> no, I suppose that's fine. Um, well, look, I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll look the way. <laughs> right. Can I, can I charge I, my ventriloquism? I... Uh, that's a spell you'll just have to cast as normal. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Paul Gore takes uh, hold of the, uh, of the rope. I lean into Jay Darian. Get your bow ready. And marches up the stairs. Hagen, the poker is glowing red hot and about this far from your face. Just beyond the glow that emanates from it, you can see the man's face leering at you. Now, I didn't want it to have to come to this, he says, unconvincingly. But you've been leading us a merry dance for a couple of days, my half-elven friend. And I think it's about time that you gave us the answers we're looking for. If you think you're going to intimidate me with that poker, you'd best think again. I'm not going to intimidate you. I'm going to blind you. (laughs) And you can decide yourself whether that's intimidating or not. Tell us what you know about the Nightingale. Not just anybody would have uncovered that pale chalice trap. Hmm? The Nightingale doesn't exist. I've told you that over and over again. Mm-hmm. So you have. We know We know that Talric Valandor 
sent people into Damaresh looking for the nightingale. Now you're from Damaresh, aren't you? And you came south all that way to Fort Valandor. Coincidence? Yes, coincidence. Oh, I like it when people don't disappoint. And he lowers the poker until blazing hot, it fills your vision. As you mount the stairs, a scream echoes up from the bowels of the keep. And there's a, a low chuckle from between uh, among the guards in the guard station. Oh, sounds like Creed Sammy's fun tonight. Hello, Paul Gore. What are you doing? Pogo steps forward. Um, I, uh, I, I bring p p prisoners for, for, for Lord Ruthick. He's, he's still here, isn't he? The guards look at each other. Why are you not bringing them in the main gate? Uh, I, um, uh, uh, that is, I think, um, he turns out and looks somewhat desperately over his shoulder. <clears throat> uh, uh Chanta, now! I... I, s I stab. <laughs> I was going to say, I fire two arrows. Yeah. <laughs> you also, I take out my dirk. And I color spray. I stand okay. bewildered. It's, uh, I believe no need for an initiative check on a round in which you have a carefully crafted surprise. Uh, so, Jadarian, there are four guards in the guard chamber. Four, okay. I fire oh, two good. arrows. <laughs> There's plenty to go around. <laughs> you don't get a crit on a, a 19. It doesn't matter anyway. It's maximum damage. That's uh, 30, 40, uh, 13. Uh, one. Your arrow takes the first one through the throat. And seven he, off the other. The impact hurls him across the room and he slams against the far wall. And seven off the other, you said. Seven off the other, yeah. Okay. Uh, Aldrick? You right, said you uh, were. Do I, get a full, do I get two attacks? Uh, standard, uh, yeah, standard attack. Uh, standard, okay. And then I, I, I will take out the, the two that Jadarian didn't hit. Okay. Uh, uh, first attack is a um, 25 to hit. And yep. it does... Uh, Missed. These poor champs are only armor class 15. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that does uh, 12 damage. That kills another one with a slash from the Ranser. And the second one is a, gets a half strike to the face. Well, not the face, but the chest, I guess. Uh, and that's another uh, seven points of damage on a, a 23 to hit. Okay. Um, he collapses backward, wheezing and blood trickling from the corner of his mouth. Two dead, two already sorely injured. And uh, you said you were dropping a color spray. Yeah, I uh, don't in the end. You're going to save it. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, uh, anything from Avil or uh, Panda before we roll for a niche? Uh, you want to go first? Um, yeah, I was just going to um, take a stab or have my sword ready with uh, with my um, Kopesh. Go, go right ahead, take a stab. Okay. Um, 11 plus 4, That's so 15, yeah. Um... Um, five. Okay. Uh, the injured one who'd been struck in the chest by uh, by Aldric falls as your copet slashes down across his face and throat. Only one remains standing, uh, and he turns and runs for the door in the south. The map is up on Roll20, by the way, in case, uh, in case you haven't spotted it. Can I panic? <laughs> and then, panic. With, with my hands still bound, kind of try and fire out uh, two magic missiles, please? Yeah, sure, you could... Um, thing is loose oh. enough for you to. Sorry. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> 
Go ahead. <laughs> I got I rolled two fours, so then that's ten damage. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. Uh, the magic missiles hit him hard and solid in the back of the head, and he doesn't even make it as far as the uh, the doorway uh, before he falls. Oh god. In a handful of moments, the room is uh, is silent, broken only by the sound of Polgor's somewhat startled breathing. I, I you... turn around and I stab Polgor through the face. Okay, roll please. He's also on a top fifteen. Hunter's <laughs> like. That's a uh, twenty-five to hit. But my friend. <laughs> he's not he's a liability uh i don't say that but is that your battle cry <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's, a liability. he's a liability uh 10 damage <laughs> okay um the blade gouges right uh, down the side of his face you can see it quite literally severs his cheek muscles they're hanging loose in a wet red mass his eye is broken in its socket there's teeth falling out the side of his face he collapses the floor and then kind of starts to pull himself up. He's still alive. Sancho! Sancho, save me! Save me! Uh, oh, can I finish him? Let's uh, put him out of his misery, yeah? I was going to ask, would a cure wounds do anything? <laughs> a cure wounds would, actually. Um, uh, initiative, please. Anybody who wants to act? Uh, I got a five. Nice. Okay. You got a three. Anyone else? Four. Um, I got a two. I have a four. Five. Okay, Bellis and Shanta, you can both act at the same time. Um, <laughs> We've Chanta. just got to kill him. I, I, I fought a staff and I, I slam him on his head. Okay, rough me, please, Bellis. The guy's armor class 11 at the moment. You just see Chanta's hands have this, like... Oh, I miss... You miss oh. okay, swing in. <laughs> he kind of slides sideways, blood smearing across the floor, pulling himself up against the far wall, holding his hand against his ruined face. No, no, please, no, no. Uh, Chanted uh, looks up at Bellis and then looks back at him and just the the cure wounds that she was kind of brewing just kind of dies out a little bit and then she'll just pick up her core stuff. I'm sorry. And she'll try and hit him with it if she can. Okay. <laughs> um, so that is a da, 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 core to staff. That is a oh, it's just 14 to hit. That's a hit. He's armor class 11 at the moment because he's um, crawling around on the floor. Okay. It's so poetic that she kills uh, the tram, the victim. It's four damage. Yes. Um, the quarter star cracks right into the middle of his face. Uh, Splinters his nose, drives shards of bone up into his brain. He spasms one leg, drumming on the floor, and then slumps, dead, in the corner. Well, I, uh... Aldrich, don't ever let people tell you you don't have people skills, because uh, clearly you do. He wasn't an enemy anymore. Listen, you charmed him. Yeah, he was my friend, so... Yeah, but that he was spell. a Mordath assassin. And that's spell... you know what else you called your friend? And that spell wears the off. Demogorgon. And if that spell wears off, he's no longer your friend, and he will. <sighs> but he might have changed his mind, and maybe he. Guys, we don't have time for this discussion I'm... right now. JD is going to step off quietly and have a listen to where that scream come from. Okay, it came from uh, the east. Turn around. You can see the map, yeah. Yeah. So. In the direction of, uh, of 29 I, or 30. I rifle through the guards' pockets for keys. <clears throat> they have a, a one key. Okay. One of them. Um, I'll take it. And I'll see if knock an arrow and head off. Any door. If the door is locked, I'll try that key. Uh, the door to the east is not locked. Okay. The key doesn't fit it anyway. So I've knocked Very an arrow nice. and I just go straight through. Okay. Can I have a marching order, please? <laughs> Marching <laughs> order. Yes. Yes. It's trapped. Um, well, I'll see arm up front. I'd um, probably be at the back because she's going to hold his hand and say sorry and then follow <clears> on. I quickly <laughs> clean this room as much as I can so that people wandering in won't immediately see there has been a struggle here. Okay, that's going to be difficult given there's a fair amount of blood on the floor and you didn't exactly bring it Yeah, I, I, will, I will use a cantrip to clean that. <clears throat> okay, Ooh. nice. And what are you going to do about the bodies? 
Could I use mask uh, on the bodies, but can I have multiple? or is We it can throw one? them in the water. In the water, this is exactly oh, right. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, so you spend a few moments cleaning the room and disposing of the bodies. Yeah. During which time you're not disturbed. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have been concerned with that, Mark, so I would have been... Gay. Keeping an eye out anyway, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. If, obviously, if I know he's being tortured, I would have gone. Okay. Okay, for marching order, whoever's going first, I'll go second. It'll be me first. Okay, yeah. J- so I'll go behind first. You. I'll I'll go behind Avil second. Uh, Avil. Aldric next. Um Bellis after Eldric. Bellis. And then Shanta. <laughs> okay. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> it's the squeaky voice you use, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Jadarian, leading the way with your arrow knocked, you press down the hallway to see a, uh, well, as indicated on Paul Gore's map, a short set of stairs leading up to another room. You guys have been extremely quiet up to now. Only a brief uh, cry from, 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 yeah. Yeah, from Paul Gore as you slew him. Um, there's no noise up ahead. I'll open it and then... We're, yeah. we're going where at the moment? We're in, we're in room 27? We're about to hit 29. Yes. Yeah, yeah. along we're going. the east okay. corridor. Good, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, as you open the, uh, open the door, you see what is clearly a guard post of some kind. Uh, table, hunk of cheese, carafe of some kind of uh, liqueur and what appears to be a heavily set Trollborn, who's busy pouring himself a glass of wine. As he sees you come bursting in, arrow drawn, quite clearly uh, not Mordath, he rises to his feet. Before he, before he even rises, I shoot through the glass <laughs> with my knocked arrow. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, take a roll against him, please. Oh, that's a miss. You uh, miss. Uh, can I armor class. Take a swing at him. It'll be armor, armor class, class at eleven. Armor class is eighteen. No. Um, Are you sitting down? Can I try and charm <laughs> him? No, you don't get the sitting down bonus. Oh, uh, you guys get to roll for initiative, actually. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Two, five. <laughs> okay, I heard a, a five from Aldric, a two four. from no, Shanta. No, no, four, four. I got a five. Sorry, a five from Avel, a four Sorry, from Aldric. Sorry, I sound like a man sometimes. Bellis. Four. <laughs> Four. Chanter two and Jadarian. Eight. Eight. Go on then, Jadarian. It's <laughs> not bad, eight. Try again. Oh, well, one's a crit, even though it rolled oh. max damage anyway. Uh, so that's 13, and the other one would be armor class uh, ni- 19. He's 18, so that's a hit. Okay, so that would be another seven off, so that's 20 damage. Nice. Wow. Okay. Uh, Two move. well-placed arrows thud right into him. He simply hurls the table to one side, uh, and you can see in one hand he has a battle axe. It looks like it was strapped to the bottom of the table, and he just charges right across the room towards you, Janarian, swinging wildly with it. Uh, good. It connects. Six damage, and uh, he whirls on the spot and goes straight toward the uh, Telltale Valandor Crest, Aldric. Hmm. Another solid hit. Can I attempt to parry? You don't have an issue, so. Oh, that, 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 Four, if you don't have an issue, okay. Seven, eight damage to you. Eight damage? Yep. Wow. Big ass battle axe. Uh, All right. And he might retreats, go into single figures. Retreats back across the chamber. His armor class rises uh, to 20. As you can see, he start, his moves and drops into a defensive position. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, that was six, five. Abel. Um, okay. I'm going to take my co and I'm just going to take a swing at um, whatever seems to be his weak spot. Okay. Uh, two. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Okay. He usually sidesteps. You, you think he mutters under his breath. <laughs> Curved swords. Um, Curved swords. Bellis and Aldric. 
Bell, Bell is first, I think. Okay. We're using a big pole arm, so. Okay, That's, you hear a, a whizzing sound, and with a sling, she slings a bullet right for his forehead. Uh, okay, I see 20. Um, 18. Da, 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 da. What was the sling again? Sorry. Um, I rolled an 18. I get plus two for, for my dex. Okay, so that's a hit. That's a hit, right? Yeah. Yeah, it strikes him crack in the middle of the forehead. Is, is he large or is he... Um... He's man-sized. He's man-sized. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, that's d4 plus one. And that is a four plus one, five. Wow. <laughs> that's a nice, solid blow. Blood's pouring down thick and greenish-black. Kind of dashes his hand across his eyes to uh, avoid himself being blinded. Um, Aldrich, I suppose, is a murder coming now. <laughs> well, I use his momentary distraction from sudden you know, sling bullet to uh, uh, take advantage. Do I get three attacks this round or two? Because it's in reset. Uh, reset. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, that is a uh, fourteen plus seven is twenty-one to hit, and it does uh, ten damage on the first okay, you attack. Strip, you strip him of both of his hit points and another eight that he doesn't really have. And, oh. uh, <laughs> and down he goes. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> like, Aldrich, you can stop now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he collapses backwards, uh, slumped against the, uh, the far wall. <clears throat> um, I check his pockets to see if he has keys. Okay. As you're checking his pockets, um, you see the door that he's slumped near has a, a grill in it. And peering okay. through the grill towards you is a somewhat desperate looking face of a, uh, I'd say he's a bearded man, but the beard clearly wasn't here when he first grew. It's just a matted mass on his face and it's leaning up against the grill. Valandor. Oh, I look up. You can see a guy peering through a grill in the door. Come on, let us out. Who are you? Who am I? My, name, my name's Calvo. Uh, does that matter? To who do you uh, swear allegiance? I don't swear allegiance to anybody. Aldo, we don't have time for this. We need to find. Come on, yeah, I, for him. I, was, I was just poaching. Okay, I looked at the right rules. That's while, what they all say. While they're all <clears throat> having this conversation, uh, Chanter is going to be casting right. change on their clothes to have more Dath colors instead of Ballandor again, if I can. Okay, nice. And I uh, hear another muted voice. scream. It actually appears to be coming through the southern wall. Yeah. And from somewhere below you. That's where yes. I head to the southern wall. Yes. Because obviously we know about okay. the southern wall. Judarian, even if you uh, didn't know about it, yeah, it's not artfully well made, and your elven perceptions easily pick it out. If we make it out. Come on, we've, we've been in here for days. Just leave us the keys. We don't have the keys, but we'll come back if we make He's it out. He's got them. He just got them out of his pocket. I grab the wheel of cheese on the table and I throw it, I, I, I slide it through the slot in the window. Eat, and we'll come back for you later. Come on, man. Come on, have some compassion. What's wrong with you? I gave you some Post. cheese. Now be patient. It's coming, bear. Cheese, not now cheese. wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'll move the forward sli uh, slowly. Can I apply some battlefield healing as I go? Yeah, go ahead. Can I do my uh, inspiration? Three back, Mark. Hmm? Three, Three. back. Yeah. Uh, okay, Jadarian, that puts you on... B back to 12? 12, yeah. Can I do my inspiration? You're better off saving your inspiration until there's uh, an actual battle in the offing, but now might be a good time. No, I'll wait. I'll yeah, wait. No, I can see you're bursting with a new rhyme. Go ahead. I'll wait. No, 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 no. No, I'll save it. I'll, save it. <laughs> I'll knock another arrow, Mark. The trick is Add always keep your audience wanting. Yes, yes, very true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, can, can we hide this body? No, eh? Not in here, no. 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 Unless you drag no. it through the secret door to whatever's beyond. Hmm, let's see. Let's open the secret door first. Okay, well, Jadarian's already done that. Uh, okay. Reveals uh, a small, bare chamber with an obvious trapdoor in the floor leading down. Okay, drag the body quickly into the uh, secret door uh, chamber. Um, okay. And I walk to the, the guy who is in the in the jail, say, so give him instructions. If they come and ask where the guard is, tell him he went out to, 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 to take a leak. Give us the keys. When we're back. Patient, help us. And I turn around. Give and us the keys out. and we'll help you or we're going to cry bloody murder. 
You do that, and I'll put a sword through your face. Yeah. What, from out there? If you do yes, that, from out there. I'll, I'll reach you. through the bars. Don't make me do it, man. <laughs> I've seen him do it. He's done it before. I have done it before, man, and I've done it to worse than you. So he shut it. up. He did it to dragons. That's where he got his hat from. Dragons, exactly. Three of them. This conversation isn't going how I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find that happens a lot. <laughs> we'll be right back. Just help us and we'll help you. All right. Um, let's uh, let's pile in through the uh, through the secret door and see what's uh, what's awaiting us in, mm -hmm. in the chamber beyond. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, as I said, it's a it's a bare chamber with a, a trapdoor in the floor. It presumably leads down to the uh, to the secret basement area. <clears throat> okay. Um, I, uh, I I I look for the 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 cover for the the way down. No, it's Except a trap. You, can, you just lift it up. Yes, that's what I'm doing. I'm opening it. <laughs> that's <laughs> what right. I mean. And you're I'm just having uh, trouble with down a <laughs> words. No, no work. Uh, yes. You just send down the ladder into. A darkened chamber below. Um, Hagen. <sighs> the torturer pulls the poker back from the cheek just below your eye. As the scream dies from your lips, you see a long strand of melted skin pull away with it which he severs with a snap of his wrist <laughs> I presume I can yeah I can still see you, I knew you were bluffing <laughs> just giving you a taste of what's to come my loquacious what, what is it? Why do you say I'm busy? Uh, over his shoulder, you see a, a guard has appeared at the door. I'm sorry, Kreeth, but there's, there's trouble upstairs. What kind of trouble? He turns back to you, Hagen. Friends of yours? Perhaps? Hmm? I'm worthless. There's no way they would risk their lives coming to get me. No, they would have to be foolish enough to do that, wouldn't they? Well. We'll just have to see exactly what they have uh, in mind, and they can see what we have in store. <clears throat> Position your men in the darkness. Get the crossbows. It's, um... Are all of my limbs bound? Uh, you're uh, on a saltier. My situation. On a okay. like a yep. across thing. You don't have escape bonds, unfortunately. So. Yeah, unfortunately. You can try. A, you could try a strength check, I suppose, to bust free if you wanted. I suppose it's worth a shot. Okay. Well, your strength is. Uh, a mighty 12. Not so great. Yeah. Uh -huh. <clears throat> um, so let's increase that. Let's say you have no, it's not just the same as bending a bar, but it's, it's an 8% chance of being able to snap the, uh, the straps. So eight or Fair lower enough. on percentage dice. <laughs> percentage dice. All right. Let's yeah, do you, it. You never know. Worth it. Uh, Drum roll, please. <laughs> uh, 59 is definitely... No, okay. Not, <laughs> unfortunately, the eight I was thinking of. No, definitely not. <laughs> okay. Close, though. The man looks, the looks back. Stop struggling. You didn't really think you could break out of those, did you? Now keep your voice down. We don't want to ruin the surprise for your friends. No sooner have you descended the stairs into the dark chamber below than there is the multiple of crossbow bolts firing. Not as silent as you'd hoped. They know you're coming. <clears throat> so, 
marching order. Jadarian, one hits you. What? That's a full eight damage. Oh my In god. More death colors? What the heck? They probably can't even see the colors. Good in the point. Dark. Good point. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. That's like four hit points that puts you on. The other bolt whizzes by your head. Uh, Avil, you're, you're, uh, you were just above him on the ladder. Two hurtle towards you, an 18 and a four, and that's one hit. Avil, that's five damage. Owie. Big, thick bolts about this long. Coming into you. Uh, Avil, you notice that it punches right through your breastplate as if it wasn't even there. Oh. And last, that's Aldrich. Crap. That's five. Fifteen would be a miss. Uh, yeah, AC add, twenty. Uh, add five for armor piercing. That's a hit. AC twenty-two, right? No, not with a shield. Mm. That's another five damage to you. All right. I... So, Aldrich. Bite down on the pain. In your battle in your battle sense, you have counted at least three or four crossbowers firing from all around you. Half a dozen bolts went whizzing through the air. Um, their surprise round is over. You guys can roll for Anish now. Ugh. <coughs> I guess they know we're here. Uh-huh. Eight. Six. Five. Six! Oh my god, twins! Eight. Seven. <laughs> okay, Aldrich, seven. Bellis, I heard an eight there. Shanta? A six. Uh, six. Hagen is uh, still tied up. Jadarian? Five. That, that and did you hurt. say six as well, Abel? Yeah. Okay. Bellis, go for it. Um, Aldrich, you're up next. Uh, do, do I see where they're, where they're shooting from? Okay. Uh, as your sight customizes to the gloom, uh, you see there are indeed six of them arrayed around the room. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six on the surrounding walls that are pointing towards the stairs. Uh, can I, from my uh, position, uh, hit two groups of two with, an, with a uh, color spray? What's the, uh, what's the area of effect? Uh, uh, five by 20 by 20 foot wedge. No, you can hit one. One group of two. Yeah, you come down into room number 32, so no. Uh, the map's not on the, on, the, on the screen anymore. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Let me fix just, that. Just so you know. Okay. Go. I would come down, and and they're in uh, in the back, and in yeah, again against the east, west, and southern wall. East, west, and southern. Ah, okay. Uh, and if I would walk, uh, no, no, I, I get it. I can't get. To... Yeah. Good. I, I'll, I'll color spray a group of two. Okay. And they just get saves as normal, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's a pass, and that's a fail. So. Out of the two that you target, one drops. Uh, and the other one is briefly for, uh, I believe, a single round hazed, right? Yeah. Okay. The rainbow spray washes over them both. Aldrich? Okay. Shanter, I, I, Shanter and Avil, you're up next. I, I withdraw up, back up uh, the, the, the stairs. The ladder. Okay. Uh, I close the distance one, with one of the groups of two. Pre- yep. Preferably ones that uh, haven't been attacked yet. Um, yes. And before I close the distance, I shout out to the group, get them while they're reloading! Um, first one gets a run sir to the face uh, at uh, 20, 26 to hit. He's got, yeah, these are at AC 17. Okay, uh, he gets, he takes 10 damage. That kills him. The second one gets a half strike. Um, at uh, this 24 to hit, takes max damage, also 12 points of damage. Whoa, okay, a slice and a crack with the Rancer, and two bodies fall to either side of you. Uh, you bite down against the pain that's still rushing through your body, seeing like quite literally a bolt sticking out of your shoulder. Uh, okay. You've ruined my new armor! <laughs> <laughs> Avil and Shanta Jadera okay. in your eyes. Um- are they uh, within you, Kopesh? Agent, you can hear this coming from the south, by the way, the sound of uh, Aldrich's voice. Get them while they're reloading! And moments are too later, followed by, and you've ruined my new armor! <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're within Kopesh range, right? Absolutely are. Right, okay. So I'm just going to 
you know, swing at the nearest one. One! I'm just doing well today, aren't I? A one? Dear, oh dear, yes. terrible. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, it's because uh, I'm bleeding. It's, it's cause I'm bleeding. <laughs> and Shanta? Uh, I'm going to try my hardest to magic missile two of them, please. Can I do one two at a time, or do I have to do... No, you can split, yeah. Can I split, please? Um, Mark, can I see from, uh, just very quickly, are they using heavy or light crossbows? Heavy. Okay. One gets three, one gets two damage. Okay. Of celestial magic missileness. All right. Uh, beautiful blinding lights strike out and hit the two uh, guards on the opposite uh, opposite wall. Uh, they bite down against the pain as the magic missiles burn into their, uh, into their bodies. Uh, okay, and finally Jadarian before they get to acting. I um, shoot the two that she's just shot. Okay. Attempt to anyway. Oh, yep. yeah, one's a 27 and the other one's an armor class <laughs> 16. Mm hmm. Uh, oh god, max damage again, so that's 15, 20, 20, 25 damage. Oh no, there's two in it. I shoot yep. two, yeah, so, so it's 13 off one, 10 off the other. Okay, nice. Uh, well, that's enough to damage. yeah, that's enough to kill them both. Um, and I move thirty foot into the corner, into the leaves, dark. Leaves the, the the guy who's down and the guy who's haste, right? And one goes haste, so yeah, so they don't get their actions this round. Um, Good. Okay, so uh, we'll stay on the same initiative flow. I believe that's a uh, Bellis. Um, okay, a Bellis uh, oops uh, her head down the hatch again and. Uh, Starts whizzing another uh, uh, bullets for uh, the haste guy. Okay. There it is. And she hits nothing. No. Okay. Right. <laughs> uh, okay, Aldric. Um, I'm. I, I run towards the other two that are still alive and it's try to end them. Okay. Same AC. Yeah. Okay, the first one is, <laughs> I, I, I think I missed with a 10. That was yeah. embarrassing. Uh, main attack fails, uh, a half strike. On the on the one that's still up, uh, I hit him with a, a 25 to hit, and the damage is uh, eight. Okay. Uh... Still kind of in the midst of a hallucinogenic fugue, um, he briefly sees a half strike appear out through the swirling colors and crack him hard across the face. He slumps backward against the wall, sorely, sorely injured, but still alive. Uh, Shanta and Avil. Okay, um, there's still one alive, right? There's one badly injured and one who's about to come out of his, uh, his little trip. Okay, I'm gonna take a swing at the one that's badly injured, see if I can. not Finish him off. Okay. Um, Fifteen. Is that enough? Uh, yes, it is because he's uh, not in a, any fit state to fight. And that is uh, six damage. All right. Um, yeah, you hew him down. He dies from a single slash from the kopesh. Okay. And uh, at the same time, Shanta. Uh, the other man gets seven damage from a magic missile, please. All right, nice. Okay, sorely, sorely injured by two brutal impacts against him. Uh, he comes out of his uh, out of his haze, looks around, realizes what's going on, sees the dead bodies of his companions around him. Uh, Jadarian. I'll um, shoot him once first, see if he dies from the one. <laughs> That's probably a miss, armor class 13. Yeah, it's a miss. He's up back up to 17. And uh, the next one missed as well. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then uh, I'll spit a load of blood out. Realizing he's not getting out of this alive, uh, the person nearest to him, of course, is uh, Avil, who just downed his companion. He slashes at you with a short sword, literally throws his crossbow away, draws a short blade, and hacks at you with it. A 16. 17, 18, misses you by one point. The uh, blade whistles, whistles past your face, fails to connect. Uh, okay, uh, Bellis. Uh, Bellis uh, th th next. throws mm -hmm. another... Uh, another slingstone? Yeah, and this time she hits. 
Okay. Have you got a chance of hitting someone in combat, though? Because I've got all the special feats to... Yeah, don't worry, I'm rolling for that. Okay. Oh, okay. Three hit points. Three hit points. Okay. And uh, that is enough to finish him off. Oh. A solid whack splits his skull clean open and he collapses forward. <laughs> Short sword clattering to the ground. Uh, Injuries okay. are slowly totaling up. But nevertheless, you are cutting a bloody swathe. So this moment, I pulled a bolt out of my body. Yeah, yeah was, same here. I was going to say, uh, as we're walking, Chant is going to say, uh, who who needs uh, help? And she's going to offer kill wounds. Well, Jay, Jay uh, Aaron's body on his knees. Yeah, oh, take I'll go to Jay Aaron. first. Can I use my song of rest? Yes, you can. Okay, well, here we go, guys. You know, I see it that affects we're all... every. It affects everyone in the group. I see that we're all in bad spirits right now, so I, I take my uh, banjolini from where it's slung over my shoulder, and I say, "Hey there, squad! Welcome to my joint. Roll yourself d8 hit points." What? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's you that roll, isn't it? That's a, that's a, that's a, isn't that a really that's a really strange song? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. It's strangely it's invigorated. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> isn't it you that rolls? Yeah, let roll d8. It is me, and then. Wow, you all get six. That's nice. Uh, okay, so you're up, to, oh, you're, you're up to 23, and uh, Jadarian, you're on 10. 10. I'm on max again. And is, Abel, that, you've got to max. is that low for you, Jadarian? Or? I'm missing a third, so up. Uh, I, I can give you five HP if that helps. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that'll I'll, take me to max. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll <laughs> chuck some. Uh, I can still use some healing if anybody has one going spare. How many you've cast? What four spells now, Shanta? Um, is it the same day as the day yes. I thought? No, no, no. This is a, it's a new day. Yeah. yeah. So I've cast uh, magic missile. Is a cantrip, I believe. Nope. No, can't, it's not. It's first level spell. Oh, first level spell. So that's two magic missiles, two or three magic missiles, and one cure light wounds. I count three magic missiles. Three magic missiles. Three magic missiles and a cure light wounds. Thank you very much. Okay. I will put a, a cure light on uh, Aldrich. So I'm on full now, Mark. Thank you. From the cure light? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Okay. You, you roll for oh. the cure light, or? No, you do. Eight. Eight. Nice. That's, yep. Yep. That's, uh, that puts me on uh, max. Woohoo! Yes. All I right. Ga I gather the arrows. I've been doing it, rolling it as I go, Mark. Um, Fair enough. And I'll knock okay. another one. We'll be ready for the next. Yeah, Mark, I was un unhook the shield from my back. Yes. And, and hold it in front of me with my with my rancer over it, and yep. uh, as w and I'll lead the way. <laughs> yeah, and I'll stand behind him with an arrow over the top, knocked and Am ready. Am I able to charge up a spell of mine? Which spell? A uh, chromatic orb. Yeah, get your chromatic orb ready. And which one? In your, which one are you, ha are you preparing? The, the orange one. The orange one. Okay. Jadarian. You push the northern door open oh, and you see a uh, corridor running north. An opening to the left, but up ahead, what is clearly, well, I mean, euphemistically uh, an interrogation room. But you can see a brazier of coals that cast ruddy light across the chamber, a rack a stand from which hang various dark metal torture instruments. And by the light of the coals, spread eagled on a saltier cross, a number of wounds across his body, and a particularly unpleasant looking brand down his cheek, is Hagen. Standing in front of him is this fine individual. Can I see from here what's bound? Is it leather straps? Yeah, thick leather straps around his wrists and ankles. And what? And it's a wooden bench or wooden frame? Yeah. I want to make a cold shot with my knocked arrow. Yeah. Um, Don't miss, man. <laughs> I, want to, I want to shoot the strap so the arrow would then fud into the wood, free in his hand to then use the arrow as a weapon, potentially. Wow. 
Smart. Okay. I Get armor class. Works. Die, Get armor class <laughs> twenty. <laughs> armor class twenty. Should oh be. man, don't miss, don't miss. <laughs> <laughs> Should be too bad. Sixteen on a dice. So that's twenty-four. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Hagen, you see the door bust open at the end of uh, of the corridor. The uh, the torturer draws breath as if to make some kind of threat, spinning to hold a blade towards you, and then this arrow comes out of nowhere. <laughs> Hits the uh, the leather strap holding your holding your wrist, splits it cleanly, and the, the arrow is quite literally nestled in your palm. I peek out from behind you, Darian. Hi, Hagen! <laughs> oh, <laughs> How's it going? Hagen? All decorum has left the building. <laughs> you came. <laughs> yeah, Why did we... you come? Can I try popping a charm person on this man that's in front of Hagen? Okay, just first, Hagen, do you want to do anything with this arrow or not? Yes! Um... Backstab him! Can I? Can I backstab him with the arrow? You know what? It's such an awesome move that I'm going to give you an assassination roll. Oh, yeah. oh man. Okay, you've shot. got a... F uh, let me give see. He's fifth, Please, your third. You've got a 40% chance. Okay. So 0 right. to 40 on percentage dice. That's a 40. No! <laughs> <laughs> You just simply plunge the arrow down. It goes right through his throat. He looks around you in complete shock. That's so metal, I don't even know what to say. I say, of course we came. <laughs> I left my arrow here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. So okay, even with a cold shot, did you count for that cold shot? Because it's minus four, isn't it? Yes. So, yeah, it would have been 20 with my minus four. Yeah, exactly. What was a catchphrase? Um, dude, dude, I can't See? believe that worked. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> just making sure Best Hagen is clothed, right? Ever. Yeah, is he wearing clothes? Is he clothed? Well, he's, he's stripped of the waist, but other than that, he's clothed. Uh -oh. Okay, so he his his bottoms are on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's yes. fine. Chanta will go and give him a massive hug. <laughs> Probably while he's still tied, because so Darren would just shake your head. Go his over, heavily wounded go over body. And untie him. As as they go taking care of that, I I peek into into the room on the left, make sure there's nobody hiding in there. Okay, the little room on the left appears to have been some kind of uh, bedroom study. You can see a bed, uh, a desk. Um, a, uh, a small bookcase with two or three books, what appears to be a sealed bottle of wine, water, you can't really tell. Um, Joe Darren would have knocked an arrow and will be covering the corridor to the left. The long one? Yeah, the yeah, long okay. one. Okay, good, good. Okay. Cool. At I, this I, point, I, from yeah. upstairs, you hear a loud crash. It sounds literally like a door coming off its hinges. The sound of running feet and lots of shouting. I think this is our cue to get out. Yes. Can I see with my elven eyes uh, a cave system? Oh, we know but down there anyway, don't we? We know the map. Yeah. Looks like we're leaving through the caves. Why? Why did you risk your lives coming for me? Because you are family. I rip his, rip the, the the his bonds off off the off their frame. Yeah, you find the catch at the back that loosens yeah. the uh, loosens yeah. the straps. Avos trying not to cry again. I, I, still I, hugging I, Hagen. I, I, <laughs> Ch Chanta, can you let go for just a second so we can get off this thing? <laughs> it's Hagen. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, he is injured, yes. Oh, damn, and you just missed my song as well. Okay, um, is he seriously wounded or just... He could probably use some kind of curing spell. Mm. I will start uh, with providing him uh, a few orisons. Okay. Uh, where are we here? Four orisons will, uh, will heal his injuries. Where's your equipment? I'll give him three. 
Do, do I have any idea where they took my equipment? I assume not. No, you have no idea. It, yeah. It's not here, then. <laughs> it's not in the torture room. Wouldn't that have been convenient? No. Yeah, yeah, that would have been it's, really it's, convenient. Been a chance for the, Knowing the that there are is... cells to, down the corridor, uh, Aldrich is going to go down there. Just go check the lost and found. I'll move up yeah. with him to, cover, to yeah. continue covering that. But was there anything in that little uh, study room? Uh, some appears, books? Just, yeah. Sorry. Just what, yeah, it appears to have been someone's someone's bedroom, perhaps the torturers. Mm -hmm. That's how it was identified on Paul Gore's map, at any rate. Any keys or anything like that, or something we, we might... Uh, on, uh, on Crete's body, yes, on the torturer's body, yeah. There's a, there's a set of keys. For now, Hagen, do you want to take okay. my uh, dagger? Take that. You're unarmed, right? Yes, it should be serviceable. Actually, Here you go. Uh, I have I have plenty of weapons. I said, yes. <laughs> oh. I pull I pull out one of the short swords from my scabbard and add it to you. But where are you right. keeping that? Like... I have two short swords, an axe, uh, this pole arm. I've got three daggers and oh. a ballista. Uh, ballista, the shield. <laughs> um, Mark, can I run down to the ladder quickly, knowing that they're coming that way? Run run to the ladder quickly. Yeah. The way the way you came down. Yeah, I'm assuming that's yes. where we hear this stuff coming from. Yeah? yeah, you do. As you run to the ladder, um, at the same time, uh, Aldrich, you go down toward the cells. Uh, you hear a noise from out there, but it doesn't sound like people are uh, going via the ladder, coming down the ladder. Um, it sounds as like if people are heading in the other direction. You hear a man's voice. No, get his sword. Pick the swords up. This way. This way. Quickly. Yeah, a boat. I see what I see it do. Oh, do you think it's um, those prisoners? Oh, them. Well, okay. That they've uh, uh, escaped out of prison. with a hunk of cheese. I, I assume there's no... The cheese, the cheese is what did it. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I assume there's no... They've molded it into a key. They've MacGyvered your cheese into a, into a mm. bomb, yeah. Sorry, okay. carry on, uh, Grendy. <laughs> oh, I was just saying that I assume there's not much time to talk, but as Aldric is handing Hagen the sword, he, take, he uh, takes it with one hand, but then with his other hand, he grips... Uh, Aldrich's arm and looks him in the eyes. Thank you. You are you're most welcome, Hagen. You're family. I don't deserve this. When we leave this place. Nonsense, man. Once you're armed, Chancellor is going to hug you again. And this time we'll probably not let go for a while. There's there's much I must tell you, all of you. Okay. Um let's find your belongings. Um, uh, Abel, can you keep an eye on that on the south corridor to make sure nobody's coming? Yeah, sure thing, brother. And I'll uh, um, go do as such. And then uh, I'll go to yeah, whatever room thirty-five. I know there's a secret door in here, so I'm going to open it. Uh, in room thirty, in room thirty-two. That's where the ladder is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. A couple of things happen at the same time. Um, Aldric, you head to the first cell. Mm -hmm. um, looking through the grill, mm -hmm. you see there is uh, a woman in there. Disheveled, dressed in nothing but a dirty smock. Probably once blonde hair hanging matted over her face. Hearing the noise at the door, she just kind of looks up. What is it now? What's your name? Who wants to know? Aldrich Valandor. Valandor. Great. If I thought my luck couldn't get any worse. My name's Yandira of House Damarath. Hmm. Jadarian, you, you uh, open the secret door to see that of the guards who came to ambush you in the, uh, the lower chamber, two have remained behind here. Both have their crossbows trained on the door. And as it opens, they open fire. Ouch. Oh, oh. Nine damage. Ow, oh, stop hitting me. <laughs> Yeah, it, the crossbow hits you so hard, it almost knocks you clean off your feet. You go stumbling backwards. 
Uh, both men drop their crossbows, pull short swords, and charge you. You and you alone can make an initiative roll for this. Maximum nine. No, I've got a one, so... <laughs> what do you I, do? I move 30 foot back and then shoot twice. Yep. Uh, obviously, a different people. Uh, yeah. six, 16 plus 8, so that's 24, and, an eight, and 18. Okay, both hit. Oh, that's double four on the die, so that would be did, 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 nine off each. Nine off each. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, they are incredible shots. One through the belly, another punches the art guy's armor right through his midriff. Uh, you expect them to fall, but grimly determined, they stagger towards you. One coughing blood, the other staggering almost as if he's unable to keep his feet. Their short swords swing at you. Wait, where is this happening? In the... In the... Uh, 32. Uh, 32, okay. A five and a five. <sighs> the fates are with you. So badly injured are they that their blows cannot connect. One stumps against the wall, the sword hissing through the air. Another one lunges for you, but you nimbly sidestep it with Elven Grace. Uh, you're up. Okay, I'll hit back with my... or whack one with the, the shaft of my bow and then go to pull yep. an arrow, but instead the cookery comes out. And I'll try to gut one. Okay, well, so they my, both have a single hit point left, so a hit will kill each. My blue dice is the cookery. So... <laughs> At what armor class are they? 17. Lucky enough, the offhand is a 17. Okay. So the bow first would be... Oh, my max damage. That's well, one hit point, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. So they're dead, yeah. So, so crack, slash, and they're down. <sighs> Catch your breath, blood pouring out of him. The, I mean, the crossbow bolt's gone up to it, fletching in your side. Beyond you see a guard post, which was labeled as such on the map. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Aldric. All right, we didn't hear any of that, I presume. No, that happens really quickly, and it's, yeah, it's okay. 70, 80 enough. feet down the hall. Uh, I go up to, I, I let the woman sit in her cell for a second. I walk up to the next room and yep. peer into that window. Okay, there's a body in there. Okay, it's clearly been in, there, clearly been in there for some time as you, as you approach the grill. Okay. Smell it. All right, never mind. I go back to room 35. Yeah. I come uh, running with the keys of the the the, 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 the torture. Yeah. Do they, do, okay. Does any of them fit? Yes, they do. Okay. Um, this one's the house Damarath. Damarash. Oh, Damarath. 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 Damarath from the city of Damarash. Ah, that was it. Yeah. It's really confusing. Okay. Her name's Damaroon. I'm kidding. <laughs> the Andira. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, we. Well, I'll. I'll. I'll set her free. Okay, Jadarian. By the way, um, you hear more shouting from upstairs. Uh, it sounds like blades against blades, and what are certainly barked orders from, uh, from if not guardsmen, then then soldiers. These ladders are, are made out of wood. Yeah. Yeah, it's a wooden ladder. Yeah. You can easily pull it away. It's not necessary. Yeah, I'll, I'll pull it away. Yeah. Okay, you're going to close the trap door as well. Uh, yeah, if I can, yeah. Okay, you set up the ladder, pull the trap door shut, get the ladder out of the way. Um, Aldric, you unlock the door, creaks open, the woman stands cautiously. I take off my the, helmet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you want? Well, we're breaking somebody out here. You can come along if you want. You can stay here as well. Do you want to live? I undo her her her, her cuffs or whatever it is that yeah, are could, tying her into. Yeah, the other key works on the manacles. I don't suppose you know where they're keeping your belongings. In the spire with the bailey. Ruthik had a particular interest in what I was carrying. Which was what? 
We're allies now, aren't we? Is that it? Well, I'd say you owe us something now than freeing you. Chanter crouches down. A little bit of honesty wouldn't go wouldn't go on. I'm not particularly keen on being in debt to Valandor. Hold her hand if she'd let me. She pulls it away. You've got a tiefling and a moonwhite with you? Since when does Valandor have truck with tieflings? Valandor aren't like how they used to. Um, we're actually kind of in the same position as you. We we just saved our friend who was a prisoner. I think it would be wise if you came with us. He's got a good set of lungs on him, your friend. Yeah, I... I'll take that as a compliment. We also had something that Mordath wanted, and we managed to get rid of it so they couldn't have it. It, it. I don't know what it is, but if it's something similar, we can help you with that too. Talking about the eyes. Yes. Did you, did you have one? You brought an eye here? No, no we, we destroyed it. You did what? We destroyed it so that no more wars could happen over it and fighting. They killed all of my... all of my people. Yeah, I know exactly what House Valandor has done. Not Valandor. Mordath. They came to the Kalian Circle and they killed my family and I don't want to see any more people die, so can you come with us, please? Kalian Circle. Hmm. That explains it. She looks over toward uh, you, Hagen, just spotting you just in the hallway. So is it true? She pushes her hair out of her face. You can see bruises mottling her cheek and grime all over her features. Should I know what you're talking about? I heard Kreeth questioning you. I'm from mm -hmm. Damaresh. Is it true? What if it is? What do you want me to say? I was just curious. I grew up with stories about you. If that's who you are. It's not who I am anymore. I look at their exchange with somewhat confused expression on my face. Well, I'll let you keep your secrets then. It's an honor. Do you know where the eye is? Sorry, it means a lot. Well, I don't know that Ruthick would have brought it here. But if we can, if we can find him, we might be able to persuade him to tell us. You know he's here, right? Um, you think he'd listen to us? <laughs> she looks at, uh, at Hagen. Well, there are ways to persuade people to talk, aren't there? Not all people. Hmm. <clears throat> Dead people tell pretty tales too. <laughs> I'm just going to look at Aldrich and I think I'm out of the loop. Yeah, I'm out of the loop too. <laughs> all will be explained in time but we don't have time right now. <sighs> how are I'm you? With us. How... Sorry. Who was in uh, the jail next to you? <clears throat> he was dead when I got here. So your guess is as good as mine. Feel free to stick your head in and see if you can peel anything off what's left of his corpse. <laughs> no. no. Hagen thinks back to his skin peeling off of his face and makes it scowl. 
Why would we want to do that? Why would they keep him? Um, he might be um, forgotten. But he smells. Or he's actually still uh, somehow somewhat alive and they didn't want to bother with him. Or they're they questioning wanted, his corpse. Or they wanted to make a a point for myself and um, mm. our songbird friend here. Fair enough. Yeah. Mm. Songbird. What are you talking a, about? I look around that, for a bird. A bird that doesn't sing, no less. The <sighs> most interesting kind. Yeah. They wish he did. <laughs> I'll walk back into the room, bleeding slightly. Two more guards down there in the room, hiding. Slightly. <laughs> By the gods, J. Darren, what happened to you? Uh, ambushed by two guards hiding in the room down there. Bellis, can you, can you see if he's okay? You guys need to uh, <clears throat> simmer down on getting wounded. I don't have that many healing. Uh, I don't have much left either, but I, I can do some if you need. I have one more healing spell left. Well, he looks like he needs it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chance is going to go over and uh, you'll just see this like yellow... I, I, I have this, this... Maybe it's better that we not do this and keep it for when it's really needed. I really have only one healing spell left. I, I can use mine. You still have? Uh, just a few, not very many left. I'll, but... be, I'll be a bit more careful from now. Mm -hmm. And he's almost engulfed in yellow flames, but they look ah, sparkly wrong spell, and pretty. Wrong spell! Um, <laughs> wrong spell! <laughs> you get two hit points back. Alrighty. Oh my god. Okay. They're healing I, flames. I somewhat <laughs> messed up the spell and kind of did a mini magic missile. So I just, I healed, but then took did damage. So you just got two. <laughs> they burn with medicine. Uh, must be a uh, special tiefling magic. Sorry, I'm just feeling really flustered. There's a lot going on. Oh yes, Hagen is half naked. Put some clothes on, man. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Does anyone else actually need healing? Uh, I, I'm okay. Everybody else is okay. I mean, I can I can still apply battle he uh, field healing to everyone else. I, I can't for myself. I've done it for today. No, everyone else has been fully healed, sir. So. Yeah. Then I extend my hand again to the and, woman. And, la and last time I looked, so were you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All know. right. So uh, where to next? Does she come with us? I tell people about the secret door down there into the guard room. What's your plan for getting out of here? Well, we still What's need to find his equipment. Going on up there. I haven't heard anything, have I, by the way? Well, you I hear the occasional thud, um, some shouting, running feet, but it's currently dying down a little bit. Okay. okay. We believe some prisoners upstairs uh, had a bit of a jailbreak. I can... Oh. The poachers. Hmm? Poachers? What they poached? Uh, no. Stags? Rabbits? I really don't. It's not very nice. So what These do are we the do next? southern provinces. Nothing's very nice down here. <sighs> Aldrich takes offense. <laughs> <laughs> Do we go back up or do we stay down here? <laughs> we still need to find his equipment. Let's make a decision, guys. How bad yes, let's... is your equipment? How badly hurt is Jadarian? Uh, Jadarian is somewhat less than half. That crossbow bolt almost went right through him. Just above half. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, just a... Yeah. Uh, okay. Two HP. I've got you on um, six. No, I was on six. I'm on eight now. Oh, okay. She gave me two. So, yeah, you're right. Okay, well, um, you stay back and only offer 
both support. Okay. Great. No, no more, no more getting up close and personal. You leave that to me. Very well. Hagen, do you have any idea where they take, took your stuff? I think they made sure that I did not. Right. Loath as I am to part with it, I think we should prioritize ties our lives over my gear. Well, if it's not uh, too precious or with sentimental value, we can always get replacements. There's but some dead it... guards down there. Pick up their armor or something. But if it has sentimental value, I'm I'm okay to help you look for it. No sentimental value, just a couple of vials of poison left that I could have done with. I'll look through this torturer's belongings. He probably has some. Uh, that room, that bedroom. Let's let's look through that stuff and uh, and and the guard room and see if there's anything left. Yeah, have a look what the guards were carrying. It's a good one. What yep. if those okay. prisoners get onto our boat and go away? I think that's what I heard when I was down there. So maybe that's gone. Yeah, well, we can always make our way out of here th swimming. Mind you, there might be still scuffling going on up there. Well, we can use the momentary distraction as well. There's two choices. We've, we can either try and escape through the underwater tunnels, which I, I think we can make. Can you, can you swim okay with your armor? No, I'd take it off and drag it behind me, but... I don't think I've ever learned how to swim. Okay, if uh, if, Sh if if Shanta doesn't know how to swim, she'll never make it through the tunnel. So that's uh, to, to, answer, to answer your questions quickly, um, in the uh, torturer's room, uh, yep. there are these uh, three books. They're on uh, anatomy and the, uh, the the structure of the human body. Um, there is a carafe of some fairly fine wine. Um, you find a small strong box, uh, which you can unlock with one of his keys. Um, there's a collection of coins and gem inside, about 300 gold pieces worth in total. Is one of us going to write down a kitty? A tally. I, I mean, I, I can. So yeah. gold 300, you say, uh, yeah, Mark? Yeah. Little more than that. Uh, as for the, uh, the guards, they are uh, they were all wearing chainmail um, with uh, high deck scores, um, shields, short swords, and heavy crossbows. Hmm. No personal belongings of note. Yeah, uh, I mean a couple of copper pieces, a couple of silver. If you really, if you want to kind of loot that, then sixteen gold pieces worth of various bits and pieces. Um, I'll take a short sword hey, for myself. The short sword and the crossbow. Yeah, you could wear the armor, but it would negate your various assassins' abilities. Uh, All your sneaky and stabby. Could I take um, the crossbow as well? Yeah, sure. What, what do the rest of you think of that? Do you think that we'll, we may or may not uh, need my skills? I think we do. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. The thing yeah. is, I'm going to keep the armor for now. So, swimming us okay. out. We need to go back up. Yeah. Okay, so, okay. Hagen, your, your dexterity is currently then down to... Your armor class is currently down to 13, then. I, w I will take, um, I will take a shield. I think I can... I don't think that will reduce it, right? If I'm not... No, you, you can carry shield. So that keeps it at 14, uh, because you currently lost uh, Zura's cloak. Oh, in that case, I'll oh, give you... Oh, I'll... that is... Okay, we, we should go find that, I guess. Yes, okay. Um, Hagen, take this shield, and I give him the, the Valandor shield. Oh, okay. I'll return this to you as soon as we're out. Okay. Thank you. You need it more than I do. Okay. Hey, I, I put the uh, I, I I struggled to put the, the leather back underneath the trapdoor. It's because you're too short. <laughs> yeah, bit of a bit of a bit of a challenge for me. Okay. Well, presumably one of the taller characters is going to help you get the ladder back I'll, in place. I'll put the ladder back in place. Give it here, Bellis. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> you look ridiculous. I'll I can touch the on. ceiling by just sticking my hand out. Yeah. When he's when he's going up the ladder to open the trap door, I'm going to knock an arrow to shoot. Well, tell me I look ridiculous next time I heal you. <laughs> no, Sorry, I mean... I'm putting words in your mouth there. Right? <laughs> I didn't say that. 
<laughs> Who said that? <laughs> it's a passing bard. Okay, so yeah, you I pop check the, uh... to see if the if the box is back talking to me, and it's not. You pop the top of the uh, the trapdoor, and Jadarian, did you say you were looking up? Who's looking up? I, I no, I'm you looking are, an okay. arrow from the bottom, and then kind of peering up. No, 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 <laughs> Aldrich's going Just up. Just knocking out. Okay. Yeah, I'm covering the hole. It's All right, Aldric, you shimmy up the ladder. Okay, and before I start shimmying up through. ladders, yeah, a peak. A peak. There's yeah. very much peaking going on. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, the door, the secret door that leads into the access chamber where the ladder is, uh, is shut again. And for the moment, at least, there's, uh, there's silence. No sound of any, any kerfuffle up there. Okay. Um... If the door is closed, I'll open the, the, the hatch and, and climb up. Okay. As, as quietly as I can in full plate. Yeah. Or plate armor. So you just climb up. Clank. Clank, clank, clank. <laughs> clank. clank. Okay. Clank. All right. So you merge as, uh, as before in uh, what's room 31 on that map. Mm. Okay. And... Uh, Sorry, I'll just I'll quickly cast a uh, change on Hagen's pants to make them more death colors as well. Okay, Hagen, you have more death pants. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> just what I always wanted. <laughs> okay, and then you guys creep north from here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Well, you're not. Yes. You're not being particularly stealthy. Your armor makes enough noise. But pushing the secret door open into uh, what was previously the jail room, you do indeed see that the door from the prison cell has somehow off its hinges and lying on the floor itself, without any okay. jailer to any jailer to look over them. They've uh, shimmied the made, door. Any other shoot. bodies in here? Um, you see one human dressed in tattered rags, cleared uh, clearly killed by a sword blow to the chest. Uh, and one uh, Mordath guardsman, actually. Good for them. I yeah. take it our boat is gone. Okay, so you head out carefully down the passageway to the uh, the initial guards room where you had your first combat, and yes, your boat is gone. What a shame. Oh, wow. How far are they? They can't be far. Uh, and I just want to take a moment here to thank our patrons who voted on a uh, a prison break to complicate your lives. So. Well done, people. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Can Thank I? You. How far are they? It's gone now. What? How far are, are they? they? Oh, uh, a week at least away. Oh, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, out of my range. Them. Then, I can yeah? see them on the. I don't, they're only 300 feet away I can't now. I can't believe you've done this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, there's, uh, there's no sunny about They're certainly more than the 60 feet away that your infravision would reveal. Oh, and as I mentioned, uh, the moon is hidden behind clouds. So, when no, you don't see anybody from this position. I, I have 120 feet, right? I was going to say, that's it. I'm cancelling Patreon now. That's it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Screw you guys. <laughs> I'm just, I just need to become a patron and then just like nag about good things happening to the party yes. and then yeah. what's <laughs> in the poll for this week oh really okay <laughs> <laughs> i'm glad i didn't I'm, i i'm not looking at those because that would spoil the surprise um okay yeah, uh, so oh. uh the the armory in room 28 i i, I open it yandira yeah, looks at you this was your plan for getting out one boat <laughs> what was yours Okay. Fair point. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I open um, the armory. It has a full selection of uh, um, leather armor, uh, uh, bra- uh, sorry, leather armor, brigandine armor, chain mail, a collection of shields, um, some long bows, some short bows, and uh, a fresh set of crossbows, bolts and arrows, spears, short swords, long swords, pretty much everything that the various guards you've seen. Uh, I okay. Good so far. So. Hagen, if you give me your my short sword back, you can take one of these for now, can you? Oh, I think I picked one off. He's already guard. done that, yeah. But oh, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. I'll, 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 I'll replenish my yeah. arrows, Mark. And yeah. I'm sure I'm sure some leather armor would suit you here as well, right? Can you not wear leather? He can it just just uh. It'll it'll re- it'll still reduce my oh, skills. Yeah. Reduce, okay. yeah. How many can we find a shirt for you? He looks pretty buff. Uh, you know. <laughs> uh, H- Hagen looks at him. What? 
Dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a tiny little. I, I, I elbow him. Um, no. It's a tiny little elf nipple. <laughs> Right. Uh, How many okay, so looking at your map, by the way. Yes. Um, the only way, other way off this level, oh. is is in yeah, and the 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 trap door that leads up to the uh, to the ground floor of the keep is in room twenty one. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that will bring you out in the uh, in the main hall, which is um, full of five. guards. <laughs> Maybe they're having a party. You never know. Let's, let's quickly, um, quickly ransack those storerooms. Oh, drunk. Yeah, because there might be uh, your kitten there. Kitten? Egg. No, your <laughs> Egan's kit is oh. stuff. Yes. No, no. <laughs> Actually, kittens. Uh, that's that's kind of food for whites. Whites like kittens. Yes, they eat kittens. No. Yes. <laughs> Hagen. Aldrich, Aldrich, Aldrich is, is going to uh, go towards the door in the south. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, by the way, Hagen, uh, the, Hagen, the, 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 the Damarath lady. Yeah. Do, do you need any of this stuff? She's already kitting herself out with uh, scale mail, um, mm. testing the pull on one of the, sort, one of the, uh, the bows. She's a, a long sword and a short sword at each hip and uh, gets a, a leather thong to tie her matted hair back on her face. Ah, warrior. I give her a little salute. Uh, anyway. Um, did you anyway, just, uh, did you, in character? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was the sound his... That was, that was, that was the sound... That was, no, that was the sound his gauntlet made on his armor. I'm gonna write a song about this. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, a quick Moving scan on. through a <laughs> quick scan through the uh, through the various storerooms shows that it's primarily foodstuffs, uh, fresh timber, uh, linen, bedding. Um, certainly, the suspicious assassin's character's gear is not left down here uh, amongst the um, yeah, okay. amongst the cheese. Okay, go for the rock. It's like it winds up, doesn't it? It's like a winding up. Yes, it does exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and by the way, um, just a, it's a great point to mention this map and the one from last week are by Dyson Logos, um, released very kindly by him under a commercial free license. And Dyson's maps are just some of the best out there. Always interesting little back routes and great use of three dimensions. I love the style of it. It's got a great style. Yeah, yeah it's got a great style. Yeah. Dyson Logos, check them out. Uh, okay, so you wind your way around um, to the access route up to the higher level. Um, you know there are no immediate guard posts here. And you find yourself in a chamber with large barrels. A ladder leading up. Trap door is open. And now you can hear the sound of swords clashing against each other and shouts and yells from uh, either the main hallway or the courtyard outside. By the way, those storerooms we passed, did any of them have their gear? No. No, 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 no. These are, these okay. are very much the... the, the Just the checking. Keep. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have to say goodbye does it sound like sparring or does it sound like fighting? It sounds like fighting. Um, the, 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 the prison room was uh, 15 feet wide and 30 feet long. So the only, only, you only spoke to a couple of guys at the, uh, at the doorway. From the sounds of it, there could have been at least half a dozen or more of them in there. And they're making a concerted effort to make life, life difficult for, the, uh, for their Mordath captors. There's only one outcome here. The poachers are probably all going to die a horrible death, those that didn't get away in your boat. Um, but maybe it makes life easier for you, at least in the... In terms of distracting, I think it's your, only fair we get involved. Your hosts. Well, I look at Aldrich. But let's they uh, poachers, and now they're being poached. Why don't we just? Yes, yeah, very true. And and just, Tusk always in, said an eye for an eye. I say we use the distraction to make make good our uh, 
our attempts to find if we can. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to go up here anyway. Yeah. Let's go. Let's not wait. Okay. Okay, you that strategy. Get solid grips on your weapons. Hagen first. Hagen first, I guess. Okay, yeah. and Hagen lead the way out of the dungeons and onto the ground floor of Halgar's spire to see what awaits you there. Is there any way that I can do this stealthily? Yeah, let's make a roll for that. And it's currently at 60%. Okay, and we'll uh, reveal the result of that after a break, which we're going to oh. take now for uh, oh, for 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for watching along so far, and uh, we'll, see you, uh, we'll see you guys in 10. See you in a bit. Hagen, you slide carefully out of the trap door onto the upper floor. As you emerge, your foot snags the base of the trap door behind you, and it blam slams shut. I roll uh -oh. zero, zero. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a bit rattled from having been awful. tortured. Yeah. Um, the sound echoes throughout the main hall, and you see over by the far door, there's a pair of guards. We can see one of them literally raising his arm. Um, <laughs> however, Hagen, uh, you have initiative seven over them, and they're only on a four, so if you wish to take an action against them... Um, All right. How many of them are there? Useful free. There are two of them. They appear right. to be watching something going on in the courtyard. Right, so I've got my heavy crossbow that I looted. I'm going to pull out and take a shot at one of them. Okay, nice. Go for it. These guys are uh, only AC 15. 11 plus 3 is 14. Oh, no. Okay. Um, it just misses. Whistles past the, the guard's head and thuds into the, uh, the door frame. Splinters the wood fly across his face. And he shouts, Alarm! Okay, the rest of you hear this. Uh... Go into standard initiative order now, Bellis. Um, uh, I delay. You delay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Aldric, Aldric and uh, and Hagen wait. together. Wait, do okay. I get it? Like, I start getting an attack bonus, don't I? Uh, yes. Oh, at level three. Oh, it's a plus one attack bonus. That actually should have been a so 14. That would have, that, would have hit, that would have hit. Okay. All right. 15, uh, it would have been sorry. a 14. A 15. Yeah, that, that sorry. would have been a hit, actually. Okay. A 15. Yes. Uh, sorry. I, I had plus three instead of um, plus one. Okay. Now we'll, we'll just time, time stone this and roll it back. and uh, <laughs> Numbers. You can roll damage. <laughs> all right. Sorry. <laughs> Actually, hey man, I'm the, I'm all for it, man. If you if you need to time stone it, <laughs> sorry about that. What is the uh, what is the damage for a heavy crossbow? D D eight plus one. Oh, and you ignore five points of armor. Yeah. Okay. That is a seven, uh, modified. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The uh, crossbow bolt. You hear a punch into him with a solid meaty thunk. Um. Then he shouts alarm, but it's a considerably less uh, confident than uh, it was before. Okay, as, as my action is actually, I will uh, heal J Jadarian, as I said I would. Yes, okay, uh, with a light or a moderate? Moderate. Okay, that's, uh, I believe, D10 plus one or two. Mm -hmm. Okay, roll, please. Uh, that is three hit points. All right, Jadarian. Up to nine, almost back into double figures. 11. Day. 11. He's 11. 11. Oh, you already, yes, you already had those on, didn't you? 11. Thank you very much. All right. Nice one. Okay. Uh, Aldrich and Hagen. Hagen, and go first. Yeah. Okay. I will toss my uh, crossbow to the side, draw a short sword, and go running at the one that I shot. Okay. The ladder exit from the dungeon level is clear as Hagen runs into melee with the two guards. Uh, they're fumbling to get their short swords out. As you uh, draw near to them, you can see some kind of melee going on in the uh, in the courtyard beyond. And mm. uh, as I said, I'm class 15 on these guys. All right. That is 19. Sweet. Nice. Let me fix the map here as well. Uh, that is a modified six. Six on the guy you've already hit? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, okay, yeah, you take him down with a, uh, a high slash to his throat. He stumbles back with blood fountaining out between his fingers. Uh, his com companion drops into a defensive crouch, prepared to, uh, to try and do the same to you in just a moment from mm. now. Um, oh, and then can I take the shield off my back as well? Yeah, you can. You unlimber the shield, get it in position. Yep. And uh, Aldrich? I join Hagen. Okay. <laughs> is there anybody, is there anybody left ready, to hit? ready to kind of tackle Hagen and then sees just over Hagen's shoulder this kind of <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's someone else there to hit? Yeah, there is. There's one other guy. Oh, oh good. Me likey. Me, me attacky. Um, yeah, uh, Aldrich goes charging down and tries to skewer the unfortunate twant right okay. in the face. AC 15. And misses badly. Oh dear, dear, dear. <laughs> with a with a with a with a nine. <laughs> That's modified. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, he meets your charge with a solid sword thrust. Um, you unfortunately impale yourself quite neatly on the end of his blade uh, and take three points of damage. I. Mm -hmm. You okay? Good. Yes, you, you yes. Can, yes. Go I, 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 can I go, can I can I attack again? Because I I have more than one attack. Uh, yes, you can. And Judarian, by the way, you're up as well on seven. Um, right. Then I will attempt to wipe the smile off his face with a uh, with a half strike. Yeah. Just roll away. Hold on a second. Ah, God! What is going on? It's a one. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Really? I ain't saying nothing because I've got to go yet. <laughs> not only do you, not only do you miss, but you embarrass yourself as well. So okay, just, just no. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then it go. Yeah, then it goes so down into the courtyard. Uh, I take a shot at one, one on each. Yep. Uh, see, seeing that obviously um, Aldrick is struggling, he feels obliged yeah. to help out. Oh, natural 20 and 11 on a dice, which will be 19. Okay, both Yeah, good. so one is obviously maximum damage on 13. The other one's yeah. eight damage. Yeah. You fell the guy with the first blow, and the second one thuds into his already falling body. Um, Aldrich and Hagen, these arrows, you know, whoosh, 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 and past your ears to, uh, to finish the guardsman off in front of you. Um, the rest of you can come out of the, uh, the trapdoor as well at this point emerge into uh, the Great Hall. You can see there was clearly some kind of event going on. Um, there's food has been left, uh, wine spilt. The two guards are standing by the door. In the courtyard beyond, you see a tight knot of four men, the poachers or others who were in the prison cell with them, um, kind of huddled together, back to each other. They're surrounded by uh, a group of maybe a dozen Mordath warriors who are almost leisurely thrusting at them with spears. Every now and then one kind of lazily leaps in and takes a stab. They're actually making sport of these, uh, of these former prisoners. It's going to be a, a long and unpleasant night for them, those who aren't killed outright. Bellis. So where was this taking place, by the way? This, this Okay, so your little... Your little your little skirmish just now was in area five. Yes. Yeah. And the uh, you're looking out of the, the double doors, and you can see out in the courtyard, area one is where the escapees have been corralled together and are currently being toyed with. Right. And how many guards did you say were attacking them? There's maybe a dozen of them. They're in a big, loose circle. There's a kind of a lot of jostling. You think you see silver coins changing hands, and then one will stab with a spear, and then, oh, you got him, good job, and more silver changes hands. Right, 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 okay. Game out of it. Um, how many, uh, are there any of these guards in a 20-foot uh, area? Uh, yeah, most of them, actually. Yeah, okay, good. Um, I look at Elbrick, the attack. I can hold uh, uh, up to uh, a couple of them for a while. Uh, does my uh, combat dominance work on these guys? So far, you've been f the the Mordath troops you've been fighting have actually been fairly well trained warriors. They don't okay. appear to be just uh, simple yeoman or men at arms. Okay. Uh, Yandira Damarath um, 
leans forward. <clears throat> if it's your gear you're after, or a personal audience with Ruthik, sorry to say it, but my advice is to leave these men to their fate. She points back down the, uh, the uh, adjoining corridor. His chambers will be in the spire itself. Are you coming with us? For a chance to put this blade into Ruthvik, and she pats the stone sword at her side. I think I can spare a little more of my time, yes. Okay. Especially if he's got one of his eyes with him. Then, um, as much as I, it pains me to say this, I think she's right. So okay. even with those other guards shouting alarm, these guys haven't heard us. No, no, one of them managed to kind of shout, alarm, and then you finished him off literally within seconds of that. Hmm. The noise in the courtyard is that of uh, a dozen men who've been supping at their ale, uh, I am having the, sport with poachers. Those two guards, I dumped them uh, down the, the trapdoor that we were uh, coming out of. Okay. And I clean up any blood splatter that I see with the cantrip. Yep. Okay. Oh, I will collect my uh, crossbow again, by the way. Okay, pick it up. Yep. Uh, let's make sure that the guards are not looking at the door uh, when we go into the corridor. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Excuse me, miss. What did you want to do with the eyes once, if, if you were to get them? We're, we're doing this while we're walking, right? Yes. So you're heading out of the... Uh, making sure you, the... you pick an opportune time out into the south and curving along that long kind of... Yeah, across the bridge. To the bridge the, that leads yeah. to the spire. Yeah. Correct. Okay. What does our what do our notes say? Room seven is just before uh, we get it's there. A, it's, the, it's the spire courtyard. And eight and nine. Do we know what those eight, are? Eight is a guard post. Mm -hmm. uh, eight and nine are guard posts. Nine is actually a barracks and guard post. Right. So it might actually behoove us to barricade that door. <laughs> nine uh, certainly. It, eight is the is the only stairs up. So you need to, you need to go through there. In in room five, is there a chair? Yes, yes, yeah, a big hall. I'll carry a chair with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When it comes to you Pretty doing um, uh, campaign art and, and, and vignettes, yes. I want a picture of Albrecht and the chair on, on a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, okay. um, as you walk, uh, so Shanti, you're asking uh, Yandira what she's going to do with the eye. She looks, I'm certainly not giving it to you. You seem to think it's a good idea to destroy them. Yeah, but why do you think it's a good idea not to? If they end up in the wrong hands, like Ruthic, then what do you think will happen? Well, someone like us will come along and take them back off him. Look, I understand, mm -hmm. but I couldn't protect the eye I had. Neither could you. We need to get rid of them. When I get to let's, the door... Let's, let's uh, have this conversation at a later time, Pan. The door to room nine, I barricade it with a chair. Okay. Assuming it opens outward. If it doesn't, then it's kind of pointless, but oh well. <laughs> no, it opens outward. <laughs> okay, so... perhaps the right time to do my, uh, inf uh, my inspiration? Yes, it would be. Well, we have a moment. Let Your mic's gone funny. With my, uh, with my thing. Leia, can you move the mic closer to your mouth? That's not better, actually. No, weird. Oh dear. We'll address that in a, in a moment quiet, then. Or... You're quiet, or? You're very quiet, yeah. Hello, is this better? Much yes. better. <laughs> I'll Wonderful. just do this. Yes. Do, do right. that the entire time. Thank you. Um... <laughs> we'll, we'll sort you out a better mic. Yes. So, while we have a moment, I think I'm going to rouse your spirits with a, with a lovely haiku that I wrote. <clears throat> Chanta, for God's sake, stop offering your pinkies to Demogorgon. You're welcome. That is indeed a haiku, yes. Oh, very well done. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Um, Can people please stop saying that name? So uh, your, human, <laughs> your, your human songs are not to my taste. This and isn't a song, my darling. It's spoken word. I mean, it's something. Haiku. 
Either way, I feel inspired. Um, you, it's probably something <laughs> in, the, in the delivery or the, the sheer artistic conviction that Avil has. Um, but can I be can I be standing on the chair while I'm doing it as well? <laughs> Absolutely, that's probably a reason I'll be on. That's uh, one of your vignettes right there. Okay. Yes. Uh, so you will get to hit? Uh, plus one to hit for the next four rounds. Nice. Okay. So you uh, make it into the courtyard across the long bridge that reaches out to the spire. Down below you, the waves of the lake wash and thunder against the base of the granite outcropping. There are no immediate windows looking out into the courtyard itself. So you barricade the door shut and can head over toward the, uh, the northern door that leads to the northern guard room <clears throat> of the spire. I'll knock an arrow. Okay. okay. All right. Are you going to proceed directly through the door or anything or something else? Um, uh, can can uh, Hagen, can you check to see if it's locked? Perhaps, yeah, without, without, check without, giving, it's locked. without giving away the fact that you're, that you're trying to open the door? Yeah, so I can't Hagen, keep loving these rolls, right? No, I got you while you're 37 now. So, uh, Hagen, you managed to just check the uh, the lock very easily, tweaking the handle. You can feel that it's not going to be held in place by any tumblers. It's unlocked. And uh, detect noise. Yeah, okay, interesting. Oh, 19. You can actually hear voices. And you think four of them, men having a low conversation, they're not, they're not engaged in any uh, merrymaking or anything like that. Their tones are simple and serious. You okay. can't quite make out the words. I can't make out the words. Oh. Okay. Do I... Sorry. Oh, sorry. What do you guys do? Uh, what, what if I creep closer then? Can I make out the words? <sighs> you, they're talking about the break. Mm. Yeah. You literally come in the middle of a sentence. And poachers is it's beneath the warrior's honor. You wouldn't see me trading silver coins to see how quickly I could stick a pig farmer. Another one responds, Yeah, well, Ruthik should be treating these men with a firmer hand. Kotha doesn't agree with it. But seeing as he's in the fortress, all of a sudden her command doesn't seem to be worth anything. Yeah, well, the first one says, as soon as Ruthik gets himself back on his wyvern and gets the hell out of here, the better for me. Mm -hmm. What was the name that he said? Uh, who's coming? Kotha. Kotha. Is, is it, would I recognize that as being like the orc? Or yes. That? Yes, yeah. that's the half orc. Okay. Yeah. Half orc. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> mm. So, what's the plan of action? Okay. I'm gonna open the door. Yeah. All the archers let loose. And then we pile in. Okay, I get my crossbow out. Okay. Okay, Hagen's got a crossbow, Avil's got a crossbow. I Jay, have a light like crossbow. Bow and arrow. You got a... So I'll get three arrows off then, no doubt. Okay, so um, Aldric, you boot the door open and then fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> yes. Okay. Make your rolls, guys. These uh, poor gentlemen are uh, normally armor class 15, but that's going to drop to a 13 uh, because you have complete surprise over them. Okay. Uh, How many are there? Plus, you've got four. your, you've got your inspiration four. as well. Yes. There inspiration brings it up to a 20. Yeah. Are you, they're, they're humans? I've, I got nat 20. For, for, for a while, they are, yes. Did you say armor class 11? They're down to armor class 11. Yeah, no, sorry, armor class 13. 13, that's just, I was going to say, I thought you said 14, but yeah, 13, I would have definitely hit them. Okay, so Aldrich, you hit, did you say? Yes, the crossbow so, bolt. Uh, give uh, me damage from you, please. That's, um, where is it? That's five damage. Nine damage on one, 11 on the other, and then one arrow missed. Uh, okay. The, uh, you kill one, almost kill another. Um, Hagen? Right, I rolled an 18 to hit and a 7 for damage. I guess it's plus 1, so 8. 8, okay. Right, 
and Bellis uh, uh, unleashes a, 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 a slingshot. And Avil, what was your? Uh, you had a natural twenty, so that's a yeah, maximum nine. Yeah, I got a nine, nat twenty, so it's nine. Nine damage. Okay, so that kills another one. Right, and then uh, Bellis. Yeah, I go for the the one who was wounded but not not dead, and he gets yeah. five point five points of damage. Okay, uh, arrows fly, crossbow bolts whack, uh, slingstone hurtles into the room. Three bodies hit the floor in rapid succession, and leaving one guy uh, with a crossbow bolt sticking out of his chest just by his collarbone, blood coughing and pouring from his mouth. He staggers to his feet and lunges across the chamber from where you see a bell hanging from a rope. However, that's a surprise round. Uh, we'll go with your previous initiative rolls nice. uh, from when you came out. Because okay. you haven't broken, broken tension. His initiative roll is d6 plus 2, which is a 7, which means that Bellis will act before him, and then Aldric, Hagen, and Jadarian will act exactly the same time as him. I used the Orison Stone to get a, a better hitting uh, 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 bullet. Yep. And I hit. AC 15. Um, easy. And um, 4. Did I get a bonus from the the damage inspiration? Bonus? No, only hit. Not, dam not damage, only to hit. Okay. Okay, that is four points of damage. That's enough. Cracks across the back of his head. He just drops as if struck by uh, well a stone, <laughs> and moves no more. And I go in the room and collect my stones back. Hand outstretched toward the bell rope. It's a simple guard room. Three arrows looking north over the waters of the lake. The cooling bodies of the guards on the floor would appear to be a, a meat, a meal of uh, meat and cheese and bread, a wrap of water on the table, and uh, a set of stairs winding up. No noise. It was that rapid and that effective. Unlock mm. another arrow. Okay, okay. I, I reload my crossbow. I'm gonna, same, yep, I'm gonna reload. reload. My okay, nice. Those arrow slits, are they wide? They're, uh, you know... Oh, sorry. I can't push a body through that. You could. It would take a lot of time and make a disgusting amount of mess, but uh, <laughs> it's not a, a practical... Uh... Fair enough. Is, is there... Is there uh... no, let's just leave the bodies where they are. So fuck it. Yeah. Um, all right, Hagen, take point. Hagen takes point. Oh. Crossbow at the ready. Oh, okay. I'll be behind. Right. Hagen, you uh, creep up the stairs. And let's get the map for the next level out. Spire. Upper level. Okay. So. <coughs> The stairs, as you can see, emerge into a corridor just, just leads off a square chamber. You can see it's a store chamber, a collection of food, linen, building materials for making repairs, but also a weapons rack and four suits of uh, chainmail armor um, hanging on mannequins, storeroom and armory. Okay. Anything that looks like Hagen's stuff? No. Fuck. <clears throat> right. This is, 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 is there anybody in that room? There is not, no. And what do we know from the map is up those stairs? It's just a, a guard tower? Okay, the stairs at the top to, up, up to room 18 would be... According to uh, Paul Gore's map, that's where they keep the ravens. <clears throat> okay, well, let's not go up there just yet. And uh, through the doorway to the south, apparently, uh, is the he's noted it on his uh, on his on his notes to you as the Bailey Commander's room. But there must be a mistake because you're in the spire. Right. So. Yeah. He's not. He's not infallible. Oh. And he's also dead. Uh, also so, dead, so yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, Hagen, can you check that door and see if there's anybody behind it? Hagen creeps to the door as quietly as he can and peeks through it. 
Okay. Whoops, move silently, successful with a roll of 30. Detect noise, 24. Ooh. You are on complete A. You lower your head to the door. The first thing you hear is Kotha's voice. I don't like it. It's not the way I've trained my men. And you've respected me long enough to listen to my words on this. Got to put a stop to it. It's bad discipline. We're not Valandor murderers having a field day out with tieflings. And then a low rumbling tone, which you've heard only once before. It's good for the men to let off a little bit of tension. They've been cooped up in here for far too long. It'll be over soon enough. And then you can go back to your drills and you're marching up and down the square. <laughs> whatever the hell else it is you've been doing here. It's Ruthic. This is room 17, or is this upstairs? 17. Huh? Let's see. Uh, is there any way that Hagen could turn and like, basically signal to them? Um, first of all, say two, there are two people behind there. And- um, Well, just just physically do what you would, what you would do. Charades. How many <laughs> right, words? Charades. Interpretive dance. How many words? <laughs> Presumably, uh, we have some form of of, of yeah. understanding. <laughs> yeah, presumably, we've worked out some sort of way to signal things. Um, Ch Chocobsa battle time, sure. Yeah. 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 And then one of them, I would he would do maybe like um, signal like a crown. Um, and then... Okay. The House Mordath uh, symbol? Yeah, what the is House Mordath symbol. Is, is, is it on his pants still? Oh, it's, it's a sword, sword and... <laughs> if, 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 he, if, he, if he's still wearing the Mordath pants, he could point to the symbol on his pants. Okay, so two people, he can't fit through the hole, and there's a snake in his pants. <laughs> That's exactly what he meant. Yes, well done, Chanta. Thank you. <laughs> You're getting good at this. Yes. All right, I think we, we, uh, we used the same tactic as before. I, um, I oh. do have uh, two spells left for today, um, but I'd like to say, just in case Ruthik is here, um, I do have a charm person left, so we can hopefully find out where the eyes are. Hmm. And Hagen's gear. <laughs> so. Hmm. Okay, we go in, take out, take out the captain. Disable Lord Ruthick. Okay. Okay. Bring him down. Knock him Go out. For the legs or something. I, I I think yeah. Disarm him. Got it. Disarm. Okay. 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 I'm gonna want initiative. Fresh ones for this ah. piece. Fair game. Eight. <clears throat> okay, Bellis. That was eight. Oh, who got what? a one? Avil. I have a six. Okay. Uh, six for Aldric. Five for Chanter. Five for Chanter. Hagen. Uh, seven. And Jadarian? Seven. Seven. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Six and, uh, five, six, seven, eight, and Kotha is, uh, okay. That should be interesting. Uh, okay. So. Bellis, you're on a uh, you're on eight. Hagen and Jadarian on seven. I've got an arrow knocked as well. And you've got an arrow knocked. Hagen is actually going to try and hide next to the door, his short sword ready, um, in case anyone tries to come out. Okay. You're sure he was there a moment ago, but Hagen quite literally blends into the darkness at the head of the, 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 the head of the stairs. You're, if you know to look for him, you can just make out the uh, gleam of the wetness of his eye. Nothing more than that. 
Nice one. He needs to start warning us when he's going to go invisible. <laughs> so an orc, is that a, a demi-human? A half-orc, yes, demi-human. Okay. So what's it going to be? Right. Okay. Uh, I, 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 we can go? All right. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I kick in the door. Okay. It's at that point you discover because you didn't check that the door's locked. Um, can I still <laughs> can I still kick the door in? You can make a uh, an open doors roll, please. Okay. And otherwise, we can always use Chanter as a battering ram and just. That's go. just. That's just a good idea, actually. I do have ram horns. You know, like last time. <laughs> Not that kind of ram. Uh, okay. I got twenty-two. Twenty-two. All right. Um, it's enough to kick the door clean open and negates the element of surprise, but it's a solid crack. The thing flies off its off its uh, off its hinges. And um, before we go any further, I will just uh, inside your friend and mine, Ruthig Mordath. Looks uh, as happy as ever. Favorite bitch. And rising to her feet beside him. Uh, Crotha, the um, half orc assassin. Ruthig is on his feet almost immediately, lightning fast reflexes. He makes a few mystic passes with his hands and unleashes a spell. Can I shoot him first? Uh, you get a shot because you are you're, you are knocked. Yes, and, and you're a specialist. He's armor class twenty three. No, nope, that's only an eighteen. Ah, oh, okay. Um, all right. There's an immense explosion of webs out of his hands that rushes out and fills the entire uh, front of the chamber and the corridor beyond. Saving throws some spells against everybody against this from everybody, please. You can add your dexterity bonus to the uh, from to the spells. Roll. Okay, and we have to spells. roll roll oh, that above? number or higher. Yeah, roll that number okay. or above and oh, add your dex bonus. Okay. Uh, okay. Mine, I, uh, make all the rolls and I'll run down the list and check who's passed and failed. Right. 20. Okay. Aldrich. I failed, but I'm lucky. <laughs> okay, roll again. I passed. <laughs> ah, right. Okay, Bellis. Uh, I rolled an uh, 18, but I got plus a 3. 18's a pass. Yeah. Um, Chanta? Um, I rolled a 12, and my thing was a 12, so... Pass. Uh, wait, where... where um, yeah, under, I rolled under, a 13. Oh, okay. What? Well, on your character sheet, you'll see the saving throws, and under yeah. spells, there'll be a number next to that. Uh... Right. Mine's Sorry, 19 with my... That's all right. It's it's a it's a fifteen and then I have thirteen plus three, so that's so sixteen. Passed. All right. Yes. Jadarian, what did you get? Uh, Nineteen with the plus three. That's a pass. And Avil? Um, I got an eight, but I get to re-roll saving throw because I'm also lucky. You are lucky. Door boys. Let's see it. Ah, <laughs> oh, twenty. Really? <laughs> okay. All right. So, so you all pass. That means you are all snared by the webs. Okay, but only for one round. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, well, that's lucky. Yeah. <laughs> nice rolls, guys. Uh, okay, so you're all kind of like um, inside this immense, sticky mass of spider webs. Uh, Crotha looks in just complete shock, uh, points a finger <laughs> at Hagen and goes, what are you doing out? Oh, she can see me. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, no, you're quite right. She can't see you. My bad. No. Uh, she she don't say that. No, she, she says something else. No, she, <laughs> she points at Aldrich and, uh, yeah, something uh, expressive like, fucking <laughs> felon <laughs> And uh, given that you're immobile and unable to protect yourself, she strides forward toward the edge of the web, grabs hold of Aldrich's head, pushes it back, and goes for an assassination attempt. Oh, shit. Can I do anything to prevent this? You can hope I don't roll well. Bye, Aldrich. Uh, you struggle manfully in the webs, 
uh, enough to turn it into a normal backstab. God, this bitch oh, is gonna die so God. bad. <laughs> 12, 13, 14, 15 damage. Ooh. Bloody hell. My god. <coughs> I spit blood in her face. You do indeed. Okay. Um, right. Next round. Uh, it starts casting again. There is a weird shimmering of energy ripples around him. Uh, Bettis. You slide free of the webs just as he finishes the incantation. What do you do? The mother requires you to stand to attention. And I put a whole person on the both of them. Okay, so it's two people, so that's going to be at a minus two on this every point? Minus one. Minus one. Minus one. Okay. Uh, okay. Ruthic. Crother. Uh, okay, the half orc is held. Ruthic is not. Okay. Um, she can freezes momentarily, you can see sweat beating at her brow, but uh, she's going nowhere. Uh, Hagen, for you there, Hagen, isn't it? Hagen and Jadarian, you pull yourselves loose uh, from the web a moment later. Hmm. And? I fire two arrows at Ruthic. Okay. I... Which arrows, by the way? Uh, normal ones, but they both missed anyway. Okay. Uh, and Hagen? Uh, I want to keep there and wait for someone to come out, but um, I probably shouldn't. Actually, is there any... You know what? You can go and assassinate her. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try to assassinate her. Uh, okay. Uh, for... What are you? Four, five, six, seven, fifteen. So you've got a 35% chance. Come on. Come on. Do it. She's held, right? Yeah, she's, she's held. She's, yeah. Lucky, lucky. My other... Sorry. There it is. All right. That is 26. Yeah. 26? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you right. casually walk up to her. Yep. He walks right take... up to her, takes her by the shoulder, and rams his uh, short sword in um, before leaning in and going, You knew who I was, and yet you still took me into your home. You should have Catch seen Catchphrase! Catchphrase! <laughs> A single bubble of blood bursts at her lips, and then her body goes limp. For a moment, the whole spell hangs her there, like a marionette, its strings cut. And then <clears throat> she collapses to the floor. Aldric. I... Rip yourself loose from the, uh, from the webs. Okay, I am going to go uh, towards Lord Ruthick. Yep. Is he holding a weapon? Uh, he is not holding a weapon, no. Okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, first attack perfect parry. Second yep. attack. Uh, um, throw him to the floor. Okay. You can make a CMB check against him, please. Yes, I rolled a... Uh, that's modified... 25. Okay. Um, you grab hold of him. He twists his elbow up underneath your grip, rams it against uh, the nerves at the base of your neck. There's a paralyzing agony goes down your arm, and he slides out from beneath your grasp and takes three or four steps backward against the far side of the room, kind of flexing and now reaches for a blade at his side. What? And sh Yeah. Well, he's got a higher CMD than that. Uh, what? Shanta and Avel, Avel next. Shanta? Um, I would like to try and charm him, if I can. Okay. You're going to cast Charm Person? Yes, please. And look really cute in That's a blanket. 30. That's a pass. Your spell washes over him. For a moment, his vision clouds, and then he shakes his head, casting the, uh, casting the enchantment off. Avil. Um, he's still wearing, um, wearing, what am I saying? Um, Mordath, dude, he's got a sword, right? He has a sword which he's about to draw. Um, can I burn his hand with my chromatic orb to stop him from doing so? Yeah, you take a cold shot against it. Okay. So that means hitting armor class 27. Yeah. Which, probably, which for you is a, is a... Natural 20. Yeah. No, yeah, you might um, want to try something else. <laughs> I don't even know if I can hit that. You can only hit that with a 20. 
Because I've got a plus five as well, so it has yeah. to be... It's not even possible. No, it'd have to be a natural 20. Okay, okay. Oh. Are you still doing it? I know, I got a four, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, the grammatical fly, this is the, the, the flame one, right? Yes, tis. Okay, flies across the room, misses him, impacts on the bookshelf behind him, which <laughs> goes up in flames. Uh, shit. Okay, <laughs> Bellis. It's a new round. You're, You're mute. muted. You're muted. That Mark understood me perfectly. <laughs> it's it's a, a, a new round. Uh, I'll delay. You'll delay? Yeah. Okay. Um, he uh, draws his blade, drops into a, a defensive position, and uh, pulls a potion from his belt Ooh. and drinks it. Okay. Um, Hagen and Jadarian. Eldrick, you're after them. Oh. Okay. Right. I will take my heavy crossbow, still loaded, and uh, fire it off at Rubik. Okay. That is Anatomy a six. <sighs> Too bad. Okay, and uh, Jadarian? I'll shoot him with two magical arrows. Okay. Hopefully, anyway. <sighs> right, I couldn't make this shit up. I would like to say it was double 20, but it wasn't. It was double okay. one. No! <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is going terribly. <laughs> Bloody hell. Sometimes the dice is with you, and the di sometimes the dice isn't with you. It's double uh, one, seriously. Double one. Unbelievable. Okay. Um, yeah, you drop your bow twice and swallow one of the arrows by mistake. <laughs> Aldrich. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hold. Yep. And then I'm going to say, Bellis, strength! Uh, I'm at the end of the round, right? Uh, you can go whenever you want. Okay, in that case, I will give him strength. Okay, roll for the boost. 1d4, wasn't it? Yeah. And I got three. Okay, you have strength 22. <laughs> All right, and then I lay into the bat little bitch. Not, not. Uh, okay. Not Bellis. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a bit ungrateful. Um, uh, okay, um, over the top of what you have, that's an extra plus one to hit and plus four damage. Okay, and um, this is my round where I have three attacks. So I'm going to keep a perfect parry. Um, and then I'm going to do two attacks on him. First attack is a half strike, though, because I've kept one of the main attack. Yep. And that's a modified. Do we still have inspiration? Uh, yeah, I have inspiration for two more rounds. Okay, so that is a modified twenty-four. That hits him by one point. Um, is it? Yes. And then uh, the damage is. Uh, 14. Okay. The blow hits him hard, but you can feel the half kind of almost as if you've struck a statue rather than a living human. Oh, Christ. As well, then my skin my, my, had been turned to. Stone. Then my next attack is going to be a disarm. Okay. Natural 20. Okay, what does that come to in total? Oh uh, God, uh, it's plus it's the, the CM CM CMB. Check. Does does the inspiration work on this? Yes. Okay, so that's um, so twenty plus twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. You're shitting me. Twenty nine. Yeah. You missed by one. <laughs> but I rolled a twenty. <laughs> yeah, it's not an attack roll. Uh, oh. Your blade lashes out, wraps around his sword, uh, almost seems to like he's going to drop it, but then he reverses his grip at the last instant and has it held over his forearm and pointed towards <sighs> you. Um, he's like 80 years old. How is he doing this? Hmm. Um, <laughs> and then he is moving. 
at incredible speed across the chamber, leaps up onto the intervening table and races past you toward the door. He better not. Does he take a of opportunity? You, everybody can take a uh, uh, take a swing against him as he as he flees. Oh, he's moving. Swinger. He's moving with incredible speed. Can I do an action? Uh, no. Anyone who any, everybody in the room gets an attack of opportunity against him as he runs. Okay. So on person. That's about right. I can. Uh, no, it has to be a melee attack. Oh. That's my question, I, yeah. I try and trip him up with my quarterstaff. Yeah, go for it. That would be a just a straight d20 roll for that. Uh, that's a 16. No. Yeah, I try. I try to. It, ha- it has to be an attack because even with a 20, I couldn't seem to get past him. So I'm just going to attack him. Okay. Um, that's uh, that's twenty six. Inspiration already counted. That's a hit. His armor class is twenty three. Okay. Oh. Good lord. And that's uh, fifteen damage. Um, okay. But, but that takes it off his uh, his little protection, presumably. Yes, it reduces the stone skin by uh, by another. So that goes and that goes. Okay, uh, anyone else taking a swing at him? I yeah. will. <laughs> yeah, I took I took one, but modified seven. With long. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take one. Roll to hit, please. Um, eighteen. Um. Plus five, so that's twenty-three. Hit. Okay. Again, your kopesh seems to ricochet off his skin. Uh, after a moment where it strikes, the skin turns a stony grey and then goes back to its normal colour. Uh, oh. Bellis or, or Jadarian? Yeah. I'll try. Um, as he runs past, I'll pull a cookery out. Yeah. And a cookery can trip as well. That's nineteen on a die, so that's twenty-five. No, okay, that's going to be a hit, but it's not a. Uh, it won't trip him, but I'll won't still be enough to trip him. Yeah, um, that's and still again, seven negates damage. His, negates his stone skin by another small amount. Okay, this is not the only thing that happens as he flees the chamber, um, because uh, Mr. Ruthick has the Counter Strike fighting style. So as each one of you takes an attack against him, he gets a riposte. Aldrich, his blow fails to land against you. Uh, Bellis, you didn't take an attack as he ran, did you? No. Uh, Shanta, you did, and... Can I interject? Can you take nine damage, Shanta, from him. Can I use my perfect parry? He to save someone else? To save someone else? Uh, yeah, he's just knocked Shanta down to two hit points, so that might be a, an option. Just or you're gonna... Seeing as I held a perfect parry in reserve. Yes. That's absolutely fine. Hagen, uh, that's a miss. Jadarian, that's a miss. Avil, that's also a miss. I rolled four fours in a row. Oh my god. Crap, uh-huh. old dice. Uh, okay, right. Um, but then he is uh, out at the webs and barrels straight up to, up to the side of them. Starts to push his way through the edge of the webs. Um, it'll take him a round to get through, during which time he's vulnerable to you guys. Uh, okay. Um, however, we weren't yet even through the round. That was Aldrich, as I understand. So, Shanta, oh you're God. next. <laughs> no, you, no, you didn't, I, I you didn't take tag. damage. You didn't take yeah. damage. Oh, I didn't take any damage. Not just for no. you yet. Yeah. Aldrich quite literally steps in and parries his blade with a uh, a perfect uh, perfect parry. Swoon. Every time he does, <laughs> and then he wins me back. I just can't. I can't stay mad at you. Um, so I'm gonna try and charm him again. <laughs> Uh, who, Aldrich or Ruthick? Oh, I mean, both. If I can. <laughs> uh, can I can I charm Ruthick, but can I do it looking super fierce and cool? Yeah, go for it. Uh, saving throw again. Please. That's a f- five, <gasps> which I'm pretty sure is a fail. Yee! Okay. Uh, <laughs> just want to double check this. Yes, by about six or seven points. Do I need to roll? something for looking cool while I do it. Okay. You can, yeah, roll me a d20 and, and try and get your charisma roll lower. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck, I rolled higher. 
Oh, itu sih. Iya kan like. Okay, it does give him pause. Uh, he's not convinced that anyone else in the room is not going to murder him. He looks back toward you, uh, Shanta, and there's a curious expression comes across the uh, the old man's face. Um, Isaac, wait for me. Help me, Ruthick. <laughs> Help me, Ruthick. Okay. As I fall to the ground from trying to look cool. <laughs> Stops for a moment, looks toward the, uh, the webs. He's almost through them. <sighs> and then steps back into the chamber to come to your aid. Yeah. Oh my god. Tell him uh, to stab himself. Okay, uh, Avil. It, it doesn't work like mm. that. It then ca- it counts as the spell. Is it, my, is it my go? It is your can go. I... That's, my, that's why I'm saying your name. Yeah, uh, uh, um, mm. Can I use my rope to bind his hands? Is that what we're doing here? We're trying to uh, capture him. Gonna have to, you're going to have to make a, a oh, pretty can, outrageous... Can, yeah, he's not our friend. Santa just be like, he's not your friend. He thinks you're trying to kill him <gasps> because you kind of have been. And he's probably convinced that you've somehow enchanted uh, Shanta, so he's going to come very viciously to uh, her aid now. Oh, damn it! Okay, what, no, what you scratch doing? that. I'm not going to do that. Um, I don't want to kill him. Uh, can I take a swing at his? No, can I take a swing at his legs? It's not going to do anything. You can give it a go. Yeah, you can give it a go. That's what you've been saying for like the past hour. Um, I got 15. Uh, okay, you roll for his legs. He nimbly sidesteps you as you go sprawling on the floor beside him. Okay, I'm and like, it's... Uh... I'm like this at the end. Like, I meant to do this. Am I to walk or do I have to wait for my my turn to speak to you? You wait for your turn. Um, oh, damn it. His initiative now rises to 10 because of his uh, speed potion. Um... And he leaps back across the chamber, stands in uh, front of Shanta, and uh, hews at Aldric. And, well, let's see. Aldric first. Oh, a natural 20. Okay. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, my God. Aldric, you're on a single hit. Thanks, Shanta. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, 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 did, what did he stab me? <laughs> he, yeah, he stabbed you with a natural twenty with his long sword, oh, for... um, and then <laughs> reverses the blow and lunges towards Jadarian. Uh, that's going to be a miss, Jadarian. You just avoid the uh, avoid fine. the blow. Um, Shanti looks over his shoulder. The bath is clear. Run, child. I'll meet you in the courtyard. No, Bellis. wait! Don't hurt anyone! <laughs> <laughs> Bellis? <clears throat> um, I will hand him another hold person. Okay. Uh, this is a minus <clears throat> two. Five for three. He freezes on the spot. Yes! <laughs> yes! Okay, now can we tie him up, please? Oh my god. <laughs> Get, take his sword away from him. Wait, wait, wait. take his I, sword, take his sword. I can convince them to stop attacking you. He's not going to do anything for the next uh, six rounds. Disarm him, take off his armor. Yeah, take his take his armor off, take his sword, put some rope yeah. around the bastard, and I don't care. <laughs> they I, uh, I clutch my wound and, and, and take lean his against the wall. They <laughs> 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 yeah. get out here alive if I run, so instead I'm going to convince them all to let us live guys please no don't don't hurt me and ruthic please i guess we'll let you live just this once <gasps> thank you uh yeah. i'm gonna try and cure wounds with my final spell he, he, he cast spells somebody break his hands me i want to do it i'm gonna break his hands uh aldrich you get six hp let me smash oh yes <laughs> i'll um i'll use some battlefield <laughs> healing on aldrich as well Oh, okay. so it's only one many, hit point. One hit point from from me. Uh, Jade and <clears throat> how many from Shanta? Six. Six. I'm on eight. <laughs> Assuming I was on one. Buffalicious, you were. Um, yeah. Okay. 
Uh, oh. You're finding it very, very difficult, Avil, to actually get his hands to bend. Again, it's almost like he's made of stone. Fucking bend, okay. bitch! Gone! Alright, well, fine. Do I know this spell? Make me an intelligence check, please. Can I as well? Uh, what are we? Uh, intelligence checks are minus four. Minus four, yeah. 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 Twelve um, on a dice. Nine. So, yeah. Eight. Yeah, it's probably a stone skin spell. It's okay. a defensive spell that hardens the flesh, makes it impervious to damage, and uh, you have to pretty much whittle it away. Okay. Um, and is it is it about uh, uh, the amount of damage you do, or is it's it... the about about the amount of blows you land? Ah. Well, let me help with that. Then I, I take my, my cookery bag with my bag with uh, with bullets. Yeah. And I ro- throw all the bullets in one go at it. Okay. That'll count as one attack. Ah. Yeah, I'll start whittling away. Yeah, none of your fucking second edition cheese here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing Bellis do this, I'll go over and uh, cut, like use my gather cantrip and give her a bullet back. Okay. Oh, um, have we taken his sword off of him? Right? Yes, you've disarmed him. Um, sword, armor, and everything. Rings, whatever he's got on him. Yeah, nice. and then, so I suppose we have um, a really uh, entertaining scene of all of you sort of standing around Ruthick just whacking him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Except me. It, I'm not, because otherwise it'll break the thing. Oh, um, um, oh, and we also should gag him. Yes. Yes, yes. and tie yes, him up definitely. with rope. What's, I've got rope. That you'd only let us live if if I tie up Ruthick. Okay, and I'll tie him up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And oh. it's there's six rounds for your. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Once right, the stone well, skin's it's, gone, it's I'm going to break his fingers. Yeah. All of this takes. Uh, let me see. Three rounds in total to get all that done. Oof. But then, yes, uh, the finger snapping can begin. Oh, oh, yeah. Let me have a turn with them. I've learned a few things from the hospitality of his Make tower. sure he can't cast spells. I want his okay. All right. And you subject Ruthik to a considerable amount of unpleasantness once the stone skin is gone, negating his spell casting abilities. And well, what before very long, he is very well and truly at your mercy. Slowly, the whole person wears off. Listen, love, let me know where the eyes are and I can save them and take them with me and keep them safe. Can I I quickly just like lift his gag? What's that? There's one up your ass, you say? (laughs) Look, he will cast a spell. (laughs) As she lifts the gag, Hagen is going to train his crossbow on the guy. You weren't that prisoner at all, were you? <laughs> no, I was. Tiefling witch. Hagen is going to walk Close over. <laughs> yeah, Hagen is going to yeah. Hagen is going to walk over, grab Shanta, and put his uh, dagger to her throat. Say it, or I'll kill her. I swear it. Oh. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Damn. I'm okay. Try. Um, quickly uh, rummage through the room to see whether there's anything important or uh, useful. Okay. Um, the fire that was on the uh, bookcase mm-hmm. has spread to the supporting struts oh, of this fuck. of this floor. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> There is, yeah, there was only two rounds ago. Um, the, that entire wall is kind of burning. Uh, it's now licking up across the ceiling and is, although there's no uh, floor above you, it's beginning to burn the rafters above. The heat is starting to rise in this room. Uh, okay. Sorry, guys. Okay, I'm, I'm from, quickly, from I'm, somewhere I'm, from, from somewhere across the castle, you hear a bell, clang, 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 clang. Oh. Okay. Um, Gary, the, the dead orc with us as well, and Gary Ruthick. And uh, let's get the hell out of here. Tell us where the eyes are, or you're staying here with the fire. More. <laughs> Never mind. Let's move. Let's move. Okay. Is there windows yeah. in here? Uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six arrow slits. Oh, okay. This is uh, not a keep where people, um, you know. Live I'm calmly gonna, and happily. 
I'm it's a fortress. Use mask on Aldric to make him look like Ruthic and Ruthic to look like Aldric. Okay. And then that way, if we bump into anyone. By the moment. And the rest of you at least are still uh, in what would appear to be Mordath colors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll make him Valandor colors, just to spice things up a little bit. Okay. H- Hagen is going to try and disguise his face if he can. If there's anything around it, let him do that. I can do that for you. Okay, nice. Okay, sure. Okay, who's well, I also have I also have the disguise uh, ability. Yeah, Hagen, you have some ex- expertise touches that lend uh, convincing authenticity to Shanta's cantrips. And then all of you make your way downstairs. We take all of his gear. Are we... As well. Hold on, no, are uh, we planning to go out the front gate, or are we going to go back the way we um, came in? We're carrying the half-orc with us. Carrying the half-orc? Yes. Okay, um, yeah, Yandira will help with, uh, with the half-orc. Yeah. I'll take all the gear off that one and all. I make sure I walk around looking like a pompous asshole. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are and we going to try and go through the front gate? I, and I cast a Cure Serious on Eldrick, because I think he needs one. Cure Serious? A, a cure, cure whatever. Cure like moderate. moderate. Cure moderate. Yeah. Roll. D10, right? Yeah, it's D10 plus two, I believe. Yeah, plus one. I can't remember. One. I think it was two. So plus, one. plus one. Yeah. Uh, that's eight plus one, nine. Nice oh, one. Okay, nicer and seventeen. All right, you make your way down the stairs from the middle level of the spire, out through the uh, the guard room where you slaughtered the guards. We still haven't got his gear. Yeah, it's no, still you still haven't. Gear. No. Can we have the map up again so we can see where we're going? Yes. Uh, Sorry. We on, oh, we're on the wrong floor there, aren't we? Okay. Um, so you want ground level. Yes. By the okay. way, has, has the chair done its job? Uh, the chair did its job. There's banging coming from inside that room. Um, they've obviously noticed the, the fire burning on the floor above them. Um, and, uh, well, unless uh, they get out at any point, they're going to come to a particular doesn't end. However, that's not your only concern. As you make your way down through the courtyard, you can see a group of what appear to be guards heading across the bridge from the bailey toward the spire. Oh, and there's a fire. Yes, at their head. Oh, no. Better not be. A familiar figure. Yep. Oh, salty bitch. Of Jesus. Saltara Mordath. <laughs> oh, father. You are unhurt. Oh, we saw the flames. <laughs> I am unhurt. Lead the men away from this. This building is lost. You heard him. Away. Now. <coughs> the men snap to attention and uh, back away. Well. <sighs> what happened to them? We managed to capture uh, the Valandor lad. Uh, Does she not recognize any of the rest of us? You're all under uh, under a dis- under disguises, remember? Yeah. And they they won't they won't uh, sus- be sustainable against close scrutiny, for the time being at least. If he's not paying attention to that, if he's paying attention to Aldric. She walked up to him. Eyes him close in the face. Wow. I believe I owe you. I'm getting an <coughs> arrow ready. A yeah. Sta- a stabbing. Ruthic, gagged and bound. It's like, woo! <laughs> By the way, are the guards that she told to go away, got, have they gone away? Yes, they've turned. She turns back toward you, uh, Aldric. Oh, okay. Um, well, father. As she looks at me, I grab her head and snap her neck. <laughs> okay. You can make me a cold shot at minus eight. Um, I am. Uh, this is armor class twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Yes. But I'm using hands, so how does that work? You still have to armor class twenty-eight, so you don't get to add your specialization bonus, but it's just base attack bonus plus strength. And your strength, I believe, is currently 22. Yes. Yes. So. Well, I rolled a 17 plus 
What's my strength bonus? My strength bonus is uh, five, so that's twenty-three. That's twenty-three. Twenty-three, yeah. Ah, that's too bad. If I, oh, I, 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 I try to snap her neck, and if that doesn't work, I'll just throw her off the bridge. Okay, so yeah, you grab hold of her. She struggled, and then you pitch her over. You see her body tumble out of sight. There's a splash down below. Let's let's move. let's move. Hmm? Okay, yes. you frog march Ruthig Valandor out across the bridge and to the uh, back to the main bailey. He's purple under the um, under the disguise, frothing and kicking, but you have him well and truly your captive. Where do you take him? This is what I'm asking. Are we going through the front gate, or are we coming... You can only be in the front. Yeah. There's no other way out. Yeah, and we, what we should do, we should send the guards back uh, to uh, defend our retreat. We haven't can found I... Hagen's gear yet. Yeah. Uh, can actually... Can Hagen leave the group promising to meet up with them later and try and go find his gear? Anywhere that they haven't looked? Um, sure. Could I use my um, ventriloquism to... Um distract the guards away from the gate area. Yeah, what do you want it to say? Um, I don't know. What's a good distraction? Go and tend to the fire or something? Head down to the dungeons. Yeah, sure, I'll say that. I'll, I'll sort of cut my hands and I'll be like, you're, you're all needed in the dungeons. Get down there as soon as you can. Okay, well, it's a good time for me to roll a one on a saving throw. Um, the guards that are on the gate um, are convinced by the voice that they hear, break away and head toward uh, the trapdoor in the, in, the, in the main hall. Hagen, all right, you break off from the group. A quick scan of Polgor's map. If it wasn't in the spire, it's probably in one of the Bailey offices, most likely in, uh, in room 19 which would have been Crother's office. That's two floors up. I'm going to head with... Sorry, I'm going to head with him, but like give him like plenty of distance. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Just to give him some cover. Uh, hold on, Jadarian. You're wearing leather, so you likewise can use your Elven Stealth ability. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe with you, it's extremely high. Yeah. Okay, so the Elf and the Half-Elf just simply disappear off into the shadows. Nice. And we walk out. And the rest of you walk just out of the front gate of yes. Hargar's Spire. Yes. With Ruthie because you're captive. Yes. Well, that was easy. Hmm. Jadarian and Hagen, you make your way through the, uh, up the main stairs at the southern end of the courtyard. There are guard posts up above. An empty council chamber. And then finally, you're in the upper chambers where Crotha had her offices. And there indeed you find a suit of armor and swords in the colors of House Damarath, the dragon and the crown emblem. And Hagen, your gear. I'll take the girls, the woman's stuff for her. Yeah. Hagen uh, re-equips his gear as quickly as he possibly can. Okay. From this position, you can see out the uh, the side windows toward the spire, the upper portion of which is burning freely and furiously. And the guards, whatever commands they were given, now that Ruthik appears to have left, have mobilized themselves. They're drawing water from a well in the courtyard, ferrying a bucket chain back and forward to try and uh, put the fires out but something about the horrendous screaming noises that are coming from the lower guard chamber that you guys barricaded shut. It's distraction enough, elf and half-elf, for you to slip out under the confusion and the smoke, and the horrified voices when they finally get the door open and discover what's inside, then rejoin your companions on the mainland with the bridge from Halgarth Spire. I imagine we reappear as abruptly as we disappeared. Okay. 
appearing quite simply out of the gloomy starlight under the trees of a copse where uh, Aldric, Bellis, Shanter and Aval, along with Yandira Damarath, have Ruthic Mordath tied and captive. The disguises by now have worn off and everybody appears as they truly are. Your companions looking particularly pleased with themselves and Ruthic, his face a bloody, murderous purple. May I recast Mask on Ruthic just to make him look like a random civilian? Yes, certainly. Thank you. Okay, the spell settles over him and he slumps looking toward the burning keep over by the side of the lake. No help is coming for him now. So what do you do with your uh, your new guest? Take him home. Back to Valandor. Back to Valandor. Okay. Put him in the deepest dungeon we've got. Where is the eyes? <laughs> oh, we have also the orc to question. The orc's dead. Mm, the orc's yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's never stopped us before. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Do you want to question him before you return to Valandor, or wait until you're back home? I'm going to keep. Back home. Oh, I was just going to keep pestering him the whole way. <laughs> <laughs> I take it the seconds. eye wasn't Where's with the, eye? the woman's equipment. I no, the eye, the eye absolutely wasn't there. No, the eye could have been with uh, Saltara when we pushed her off the. Uh, has. Has well, marked him frozen for anyone else. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So right now. No, no. Am I back now? Yeah, so yeah. 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 No, you're so fine. Sorry about that. Back in the room? Okay. All right, far asleep, false alarm. Okay, no problem. Okay, uh, just quickly, what do I need? Uh, this I need. A roll for the will to live from Chance's <laughs> constant nagging. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. 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 But Where's why? The eye? I, I'm not going to tell you. Why? <laughs> why are you not going to tell me? Yeah. <laughs> but okay. Why? <laughs> why did you get it? <laughs> okay. Valandor. It's two days hard ride before you see the half engulfed ruins of your home. It seems like you've been away for far, far too long. And yet the gold and blue flags are still flying and your men salute you at the gate as you return. Wondering perhaps who the strange commoner with you is and the woman in house Damarath colors. But you're respected enough for them to allow you through the gates. Once you have the horses stabled, you're busy shaking off the dust of the last two days of travel. Garrick comes stomping out of the main hall. He greets you. Brother. Hello, brother. Well, I say, chaps, chapesses. You've been away a fair old time. Brought some friends with you. How's Damarath? And who's this dusty looking fellow here? I'll drop the mask. <laughs> I say! Yes. Yes. We, yes. We got him. Yes. Yeah. All of that. Yes. Ruddy good hunting. Well done, brother. And it comes and slaps you. Firmly on the shoulder. Ruddy well done. Does he Thank seem you. sincere? I, I did help as well, yeah, he, you know. I, I, I'm scrutinizing his expression if that's sincere there or he's is, just putting on an act. There's not a deceitful bone in this man's body. I mean, that's... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's let's... Guile, but they're not really his kind of thing. So, 
I've just become so paranoid that I, I'm I'm looking for <laughs> deception, and even from this moron. So um... I am gonna lean in while all the brothers are sort of huddled and just say, um, I uh, just want to say, keep an eye on our, our our new friend. I I I I have my suspicions. Undoubtedly so. Which which one's the friend? Galric says. Or well, you're not saying that to Galric. I was any like literally the huddle. Oh, okay, right, right. Okay, I I I summon the captain of the of the, of the guard. Yes. Um, take, this, take this prisoner to the deepest dungeon we've got. I want him under under surveillance at all times. No one is to speak to the prisoner. Do you understand? He, he looks Ruthic up and down. He is to be bound and gagged at all times. Understood, my lord. He turns to Ruthic. Lord Mordath, this way if you please. And makes it very clear that it's not a request. Yandira, kind of, she's standing in the courtyard looking around. I've heard a lot about this place. It's a shithole. Bigger <laughs> than I expected. As Jay Darian has already mentioned. <laughs> shithole, though it may be, I'm glad to be back to it. For a moment, I thought I'd never see it again. Oh, I can't wait to fall into my own bed tonight. Is there somewhere I could have a bath? Yandira says. Yes. I will have... Um... I'll have my men uh, ready you some guest quarters. Thank you. She can bunk with me. I I'm sure we have plenty of rooms. Eyebrows raising. Okay, if you really <laughs> insist. A bath first, thank you. Okay, I'll meet you in our room. <laughs> <laughs> Yandere just looks I, towards you and it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> and allows herself to be led off by uh, one of the house servants <laughs> yes. to uh, clean the grime of travel and captivity alike off her. Sorry, I just really think we should keep an eye on her. Who is this woman for this that. place? She is a, a scion of House Damarath, the ruling the ruling noble house. She could be an assassin for them. She could be anything for them. She oh, she, absolutely. Eye. Absolutely. She had an eye and she told me that I was foolish for destroying the one I had. I, she wouldn't uh, tell me. Let's let's have this conversation inside. I thought we were inside. Agreed. Sorry. That's I thought fine. we were still in the in the courtyard. It doesn't really matter. You guys so, can uh, no, sorry. Oh, adjourn to one of the council chambers. What? We're inside to, uh... already? How <laughs> 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 would we get here? <laughs> Where Man, the I? road really messed with my head. <laughs> <laughs> you can adjourn to one of the council chambers and uh, discuss matters in some security. And if okay. you switch, yeah, have a guard po posted by the bathhouse to make sure that uh, Yandira Damarath doesn't go, I don't know, assassinate. Have I ever heard of Yandira? Yeah, you think she's one of the... House Damarath is enormous. There's all sorts right. of minor and distaff elements to it, so yeah. yeah. She's uh, a second cousin quite removed of the Emperor, probably. Something along those lines. Um, right. you were from there. What? Who? Hagen. Yes. I'm from Damarash. The city, but not their house. Oh. They're the royal family. So, uh, decisions right. to make, and quite possibly a lord of a rival house to question. Is uh, the lady, is she, uh, is she uh, uh, hurt? She was past the questioning phase and into the we're going to let you cool your heels phase. So no, you notice no injuries on her. Just the exhaustion of a long incarceration. Shanta has reminded me. 
There is much I must tell you. After everything that you've all just done for me, I, I owe you the truth. Let's do this over some food. <laughs> I can't Before long, that. then, you're sitting in front of a uh, heavily laden table. No trail rations and stale and warm water, but the very best lifted out of the Valandor larders. You can barely believe that you've been living the way you have for the last week or two. Home again, it seems like almost a luxury. I've been living like that for about 80 years. Yeah. <laughs> You're 80? <laughs> I'm a little bit more than that. I'm so, 277. If there are any baked goods there, by the way, Hagen is going to indulge his sweet tooth. I was just gonna oh. get drunk. <laughs> hey, I, I love that he says it with that voice too. I'm gonna indulge my <laughs> sweet tooth. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> just have an in for like. It's like the most, the most evil the whole sweet table. tooth in the in the in, in old kingdoms. <laughs> the whole table of everything. Y'all got any cakes? <laughs> right, right. Um, uh, Bella's is daintily so. holding a cup of uh, cream, which is uh, yeah. Sippy. Mm. First things first, I suppose. I should tell you. My name is not Hagen Quell. Okay. At least not in the sense of it being any name given to me by a mother or a father. I do not know what I was named. I was abandoned on the streets of Damaresh and grew up being called Mutt most of the time. Then I was boy or apprentice, I suppose. And then Nightingale. Because of your beautiful singing voice? <laughs> I take it you haven't heard of the uh, assassin, the Nightingale, supposedly have I? mortal. Have I? Have I? Absolutely you have. Oh my up. god, am I beating my hero right now? This is a moment for me. You have no idea how many songs I've heard about you. Woo. <laughs> what about me, Mark? Have I heard? I've got history and stuff. You know the Nightingale as a legendary assassin who's been a figure of some shadowy repute on the streets of Damaresh for a century or more. If it's not obvious, the Nightingale is immortal. It is a legacy title. Passed down from master to apprentice. I was taken off the street by the previous Nightingale. He was impressed after I stabbed a man to death in an alley with a shiv I had fashioned to skin rats over a morsel of food. This is so cool. And though she may not approve of it, I've met another former nightingale in the service of House Valandor. Bone Mother Talora, I am fairly certain, has borne the title herself in the past. I remember meeting her in my youth. I. I received orders from a shadowy council, primarily composed of former nightingales, I believe. I killed when I was told to. Anyone, I have no idea if they were innocent or not. He looks down in shame as he says this. Eventually, I, well, I was given a contract I refused to carry out. I. I'd rather not speak of that yet. But I fled. I abandoned the, the title of Nightingale. I came here to the edge of civilization where I thought no one would find me and adopted the name Hagen Quell. I, I didn't, didn't first want to take on the job of Master of Whispers, of course, or, well, apprentice, I suppose. No, I, I tried to take on civilian life, get a new start, but as, a, as you might imagine, a man who's spent his whole life being trained to kill people does not make the best baker. 
or cobbler. Eventually, I was scouted out by, well, I suppose Bone Mother Talora may have recognized me. Yes. So, I came under the employ of House Valendor, and here I am today. I'm sorry for deceiving you for so long. That's okay. I mean, you didn't lie to us. <laughs> I don't know if I was given a real name or a name at all, but I've always gone by Chanter. So you saying you're Hagen is just as true as anything. <laughs> You never cease to astound me, Shanta Flair. Thank you. Same with you. Uh, you held a knife to my throat. I'm I I am sorry about that. I assure you I would never have done anything to harm you. I uh grab my wine glass and I stand up. And I raise it in front of me. The family. To family. To family. Family. Chanta is absolutely really crying at this point. <laughs> yeah, Chanta looks really sad and kind of just raises her he's water like, a little bit. He's swooning, but he's also crying. This is the best day ever for him. Hagen never drinks, but he raises a wine glass to this. The family. Well, Chaydera loves the wine. He will drink. I uh, drink the whole glass. <laughs> Anyone else have any secrets they want to come out with? We used to do these all <laughs> the time at the Kalian Circle. We'd all gather around and we'd talk about things that... Bellis, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> what? You got a few? <laughs> <laughs> I could tell you the story of how I got my hat. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's a how good many one. dragons? Three. Three dragons. Full grown, glorious dragons. Mm hmm. So, there I was, uh, somewhere in, uh, in Eros, as you do. And um, I had heard recently of. Uh, a group of traveling merchants, and and they told me, they uh, they told me about this uh, this special dragon horde, really special treasure, you know, something that only a true bard could wield. And I thought, well, sorry, I am a true bard, if any. So I uh, I scouted it out, and I I made my way to this uh, this wonderful hoard of treasure, really gorgeous. I went there; it's great. You should just trust me. And. Um, there I was, looking at this hoard of treasure, gold, platinum, silver, gems galore, and on top of that mound, you'll never believe, this very hat was, was in this pillar of light on this mound of, of wonderful gems. And so I thought, well, good sir, this is probably the, uh, the treasure that they were talking about. I mean, gems, gold, you can get as much as you want, but this hat... My, this hat, this, this is the true treasure. And I thought, there must be some catch, there must be some trick. And lo and behold, there was, because out of nowhere, three dragons swoop overhead in this large cave, and they, they talk to me, and they tell me, you, sir, yes, you, sing us a song. Sing us a song, and if we like it, we won't burn you alive, and you can take the hat. So... I took out my banjolele, the most glorious wit instrument in all of Eroth, and I sung for them for three hours. And they loved me so much that they told me to take that hat and get the hell out of there before they burned me alive. Oh God, please stop. And that's how I got this hat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say I was... I was trying to look for the Elvis translator for bullshit, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> that was it's me. true! Apple. It's true! It is, a, it is a wonderful story. Thank, Thank you very much. Did dragon friends say that all of his kind had been dead for a, a long, long time? No, no, no. There are still dragons all across Eros, There's just because there are none in the employ of Valandor. Well, 
Well, isn't that just perfect? I tell my life story and then Avil immediately has to outdo me. I'm sorry, listen, it's not outdoing. I mean, you, you, <laughs> you're the nightingale, you know? You can't get any more illustrious than that. If another one, Avil. Another one. Uh, perhaps another time. I'm a bit... Ugh, I need to sit down, I think. And he promptly falls off his seat. <laughs> uh, Jay Darian? Bellis? Aldrick? Those Do you have any here? dragons? Have I fought dragons? No. Never even seen one. <laughs> Oh, I've seen one. Just oh no, one. that's true. We've seen we've seen one together, haven't we? Uh, have, have I seen dragons before? No. 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 If it comes to stories and truths, when your meal is done, perhaps it would be wise to see what Lord Ruthick has to tell you. And uh, Bellis, with the help of Bone Mother Talora, you can be assured of hearing the truth. I was going to say, do I know of any herbs that will help loosen the tongue? You could do that as well, yes. Either way, it'll have the same effect. A spell from Bone Mother Talora will detect whether he's telling any lies, but then our chemical compound from you will prevent him from speaking them in the first place. Let's do it both. Just to be okay. sure. All right, uh, Jadarian, can you make me a wisdom check, please? Wisdom check? I rolled a, uh, probably foul, I rolled a 19 on a dice. <laughs> okay, so no, it's just gonna be the spell then. <laughs> <laughs> There's a really fantastic smell coming from Jadarian's quarters um, for uh, for the rest of the day, uh, and then yeah, he emerges. No, it's not. Uh, we don't. We don't have the right herb. No, 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 you can't use that. <laughs> that. That would kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Do not go in there. <laughs> Talora is extremely pleased to see you all back alive. Strange dreams I had, she says of a dead forest. And I heard the scream from the eye. I knew not what it meant. But I see now that you were successful. You found the dragon, did you not? We did. And word has gone through Valandor that you have brought a prize home. Yes, we have Lord Ruthick in the dungeons. With ourselves of Solterra. Shall we see what he has to say? Yes, please. He wouldn't Let's... answer any of my questions on the way back here. He just kept crying, I think. He's quite the accomplished magician, so I'm... I would be wary of his abilities. As long as he is bound. I, I don't want to say anything too mean, Aldrich, because I know that man is... you know, but maybe it would be easier to kill him and then ask the body questions. Or not. Let's see what he's got to say first. Hmm. The second resort. Not an idea I expected to hear from Shanta, but... Also, adding patricide to my list. I'm not sure if I'm ready for that. He, I suppose, could hold it in reserve. Aldrich, he wouldn't have to be the one that could do it. As a way to persuade him that answering our questions is the best way to preserve his life. Before we question him, I would have a, a, a strong idea of what we wish to ask him where the eyes are. 
I would also like to know what his plans were for this alliance. What his long-term goal was, and what or he, is. And what he wanted from uh, the Damarash uh, woman. Because of what the elves said. They seemed all for it. Hmm. These are wise questions. I will ensure that any falsehood he may utter is revealed, Tolora says. It seems to me that you are well prepared. Come, let us speak with our guest. The deepest dungeon, you said. Mm Mm-hmm. And this is indeed where you find Ruthik. His broken hands cradled in his lap. Head downcast, wispy white hair hanging in grimy mats around the side of his face. But he raises his head as you enter the room. Talora ostentatiously calls upon the Bone Mother. We will know if you speak falsehood, Ruthik. And as the tiefling pointed out, we can draw truth from your corpse as easily as we can from your living lips. For a moment, there's a, an echo of the charm that you cast upon Ruthik's fa- uh, upon Ruthik in his face, Shanta. A brief glimmer of betrayal. And then... He comes back to his senses. Ask what you need to ask. I am not a liar. The old ways still run true in Mordath. I am your prisoner. I expect to be treated as a lord of a great house. Not hidden away like some rat. But, even if you will not heed the old customs, I will. Ask what you would ask, and I will answer you with honor and truth. Countess steps forward, almost looking at the others, if if she may ask. Hmm? Where are the eyes? And why did you want them? One, we have recovered. One, the tiefling still hold. One, you destroyed. A fourth. We do not know where it lies. The fifth has been taken into the far west. I do not know by who. And the sixth, of course, is set into the crown of Imperial Torlek. And why did you want them? And how did you know we destroyed it? Divination. And my daughter brought the false one back from the dead forest. Crotha called upon her gods and they provided the truth. Why do you want them? What are your plans? ultimately to destroy them. But before that, to weaken the influence of the demon from which they come, and thereby 
weaken the power of its master, the demon prince. But why didn't you just say that? Say it to who? Maybe bring it up to the tieflings before you. We speak. did. Tasker Glimmer refused. She said the Kalian circle drew its power from the eye. It would fall before she surrendered it to human hands. She was clearly already possessed by its power. Uh, What's happened to you? Well, You're so hairy. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, but this is what the internet connection is like in Fort Ballandor. <laughs> <laughs> so it's too far deep in the dungeon. You move to the desert, and everything is just fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so, where was I? Um, I asked why, and you said that you were going to destroy it, and that Tasker wouldn't allow you to have the eye. Thankfully, Zorahado had some sense on her head. But and she was willing to give us access to Highthorn. But you've slaughtered so many innocent people. Which innocent people? The tieflings of the circle? Yes. And Valandor men, who were kind of on your side all along, because the mum, I don't, I don't understand. The men of Valandor have been murdering the men of Morda for generations over a border dispute. Tara Valandor cut my daughter's throat during an interrogation while his son Garrick looked on. The tieflings of the Kalian Circle have a demon's eye from which they draw power. How many of these are truly innocent? We really are the bad guys, huh? Yeah, I was going to say, Chanta will <laughs> turn around, look at them, and I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to do it. Um, are we the bad guys? Who are uh, the bad guys? I you are living in a fairy tale. There are no bad and good. Okay. We are all yes. damned. Well, I, I don't really understand what's going on right now, but before I get lost in a million questions, why did you have the, the lady from Darash in your jails? Why why was why did you have her? Damarath. Damarath. Da da ba ba do ba di ba da da da. Our plan was to hold her, hold her hostage to get one of Crother's agents or someone from the Pale Chalice into Damarish to find out how to get it there. I. That was to be part of our alliance with Valandor. Together. We would take on House Damarath and end this demonic influence that has rotted our realm from the heart outwards. Why did you send your worst negotiator then? Your daughter came there looking for a fight. She did not. I think you'll find she was there before you. I know exactly what happened because she told me when I brought her back from the dead. Your white presented her with an illusion with which she mocked her. The only offensive move Saltara made was to lower her hand to her sword. And then your assassin struck from the shadows, killing Zerahalo. And Aldrich 
slaughtered his sister. Half sister, right? Mm. Yes. Okay. In the spirit of honesty, the methods employed by yourself and my father, my adopted father, and my mother caused this situation. Your secrecy and lies have us at each other's throats when our goals were the same. How do we know we can trust you? How do I know that you are not your adopted father's son, just like Garrick, who stood by and watched Garrick murder Saltara? Garrick is an idiot. <laughs> He's not wrong. I have seen nothing of you other than a boy who plays at soldiers. How could I know Well, perhaps if you took the time to get to know me, perhaps if you'd opened communications instead of playing this game of secrets. Well, your, your mum is to blame for that too, I suppose. Well, yes. I, I, I blame her entirely, and that is why she's locked in a tower. He also killed our friend Jadarian when we were trying to go destroy the eye, which is what you said was what you wanted to do. If you really are a man who just wants the right thing, you shouldn't just lead to violence when people are running from you who are unarmed, who are scared and unaware of the situation they're in. And you keep throwing your daughter to be killed at us because you are not brave enough to do it yourself. We didn't know you were at Whitethorn. Then why were you there? To get the eye from the tieflings, the one they've hidden. Um, that is not true because she came asking for us. Mm, well. If Saltara has survived her most recent encounter with Valandor, I'll put that question to her. As your tiefling quite rightly says, I wasn't there. I'm not saying I haven't made mistakes. I look at uh, Laura. Is this all still a bit true? She shrugs. What? No lies here. Hmm. So what was that thing that uh, this Damarath woman had or had that you wanted? She mentioned something. What was that? What was she referring to? She was a hostage, nothing more. Hmm. I don't know what she's been telling you. That's what I'm trying to find out. <laughs> Mm. Who is she, exactly? She's a minor relative of Hal's Damarath, but perhaps worth enough to ransom, to provide us with a way of reaching the capital, putting an agent in the capital. Mm. Why did you torture our friend Hagen. Because of who he is. But we know who he is, and he's no longer like that. I'm hearing that a lot from you. Yes, because... But I'm killed. still seeing you leave men to burn alive. I'm still seeing you cut down Mordath troops, the same way Valander always has. I'm not convinced you're that different at all. It's because they were trying to kill me. Mm. I've never started a fight. Are you saying we are you only... cut down Valandor troops? Of course. That's what we we're do. only in this predicament because of the of, of the the not not even the lies, just the absence of truth. 
not informing us, not trusting us. And this goes both ways, perhaps, but what did you expect us to do? It is because of those expectations that things have transpired the way they have. Two old men playing fools. Both your father. Hmm. So what do you propose? I need to think. Do you know where the other eye is? The one that Tieflings had? The one that's missing? Or the one that is taken into the far west? They wouldn't tell us. I tried. I want We know to. who might we know who who might know. So this eye which is in the crown of Dumrath was taken from the elves, correct? Yes. Which elves? Where? The ghost elves. The eye in the crown is from the ghost elves. Yes. Okay. And he was taken by... They had three, the tieflings had three. Yes. So we're missing uh, a tiefling one and we're missing an elven one, two elven ones. <clears throat> and yours Why? is where? Say again, please. Where's your eye? Safe. It's not safe until it's destroyed. No, but exactly where is it? <clears throat> At Fort Mordath itself. <clears throat> okay, I cast the thought capture just to be sure. Mm -hmm. You gain a brief sense of uh, optimism. You use my dice if you need to. And the hope that... Uh, dice where we're going we don't need dice okay <laughs> and the brief sense that uh something might come out of this i thank you for your candor lord ruthick and are you for your hospitality lord I, will I will see what i can do about getting you some better Accommodations. He knows. Perhaps we can see where this road takes us. It will take us to one place. Dumbass. The Imperial City. One last thing. Yes. Once you've destroyed the eyes assuming that this is something that is within our grasp. What is your final goal? To take the crown? <laughs> to see the crown worn by someone and be a worthy ruler. <laughs> you believe that to be your stuff? <laughs> no. Avel raises a tiny hand. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that to be my son. Oh, not me. But I'm a bastard. No, your dad was. Remedied. <clears throat> You're not a bastard. You were legitimized by Valandor. Yeah, you could rule both houses in that respect. Loath as I am to agree with him, I believe you are worthy, man, Aldrich. I agree. Why? But what about what about the succession? How does that work when merging two houses under under one? There are always methods by which to address such problems.
And what of Golric? There are always methods. Well, you have left us with much food for thought. I look forward to speaking to you again soon, my child. I turn on my heel and leave. Bye. So the camera retreats, leaving Ruthic Valandor sitting alone in the dark. And at this point, if I was still online, you'd start to hear the cool outro music of uh, the Sundered Crown playing. And I would describe how instead we now return to a dark lake under a dark and overcast sky. Where the shadows of Halgar's spire turn the waters darker still. And a gauntleted hand thrusts out of the waters. Oh, Saltara! <laughs> I love that she's I off am, screen. Uh, <laughs> I'm not remotely surprised. Nope. As nope. Saltara pulls herself, gasping, onto the shoreline. I hate her. I hate her too. I, I hate her so much. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> he stands. Uh, I like her. And stares toward the shore. And strides landward until in the glow of the still burning fire and the spire, she's reunited with her troops. Your orders, my lady. <coughs> We're gonna find my father, she says. We believe him to have been taken by Valandor. How will you get him back? Saltara smiles. There are always methods. <laughs> the end. Uh, <laughs> your father's daughter, there you go. <laughs> so apologies to everybody for the um, tech flake out there. I have no idea what happened, uh, but thank you for those of you who, uh, thank you to those of you who stuck out through the, the end of the show. I really appreciate it. I want to say thanks again um, to our patrons who have um, given us their hard-earned gold pieces and voted to screw things up for the player characters. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite. And uh, thank you to my players <laughs> <laughs> for putting up with all this crap week after week. <laughs> I, I kind of think we should end all sessions like this with the two of you sitting next yes. to each other. I love it. Someone take a picture of this. Really cold in here. Otherwise, I sweat and it's gross. Thank you, everyone. Cheers, guys. And thank you. We'll see you for Pantheon. Later. See you for Pantheon tomorrow. Bye. Bye bye.